Oh, I'm zoomed out. Hi, chat. Welcome to another stream. How are we all doing today? Uh, it is Thursday, December 22nd, and we are back for yet another stream. We've got a notification replay from Baldathus, who has resubbed at 26 months. Holy shit. Good to see you again. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, uh, we're back. We're back for another stream. Cranpiel, thank you for the resub at 19 months. Good to see you again as well. I just got back from the gym, uh, which is why I am lay showered. Uh, the plan for today is to work on Pregnant CI using the stuff that we built last stream. Uh, let me say hi to everyone who is here. Dels was first. Kegsit was also here before the stream started. Eldothus is here. Hello, hello. Kegsit, also still here. Grab his iPad. Hello, hello. Hannibal, welcome, welcome. Pat the Noodle Belly. Okay, we can pat, pat the Noodle Belly. We give, we give we give Noodle a little pat. There we go. We give Noodle a little pat. Marsha's also here. How you doing, Marsha? Hello, hello. Uh, Grand Piel, almost two years, right? Right. Uh, Hanwell says hello, Anthony Wright's coat. I am new. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? I've just noticed that the algorithm for coloring users in my overlay. Oh yeah, we had to use a different algorithm because we couldn't use SHA-256 um, because it's not available in data URLs because cryptography is only available in a secure context in JavaScript, so we had to write our own shitty hashing algorithm. Right. But anyway, it's a different color in my... It's a different color here because uh, CranPL has not used slash color ever, so they have an unassigned color. Uh, ADVC Bongo is patting Noodle's belly. It's miss it's it's off by a little bit in my screen. But I assume uh you end up like this, which it is then patting the belly. It is um Oh look at the overlay. It's off screen. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Uh we're also hatching eggs still. So uh that's that's going on. Um I'm a little disappointed in myself because I was not able to do the uh Climbing route that I was obsessed with. I tried it a bunch today. Uh, I don't feel like I hurt my arm, but by the end I was like, uh, I can't really climb anymore, so I'm going to go home. But I'm a little disappointed with that. Cybergenics also here. Hello, hello. Stonkfish says, Ugh, a Thursday stream. I'm busy. How can you be busy? It's fine, it's fine. I don't blame you. Gonna pet the belly a lot more. Okay, I see I see the belly in in my, my chat window now. Let's see about the overlay. Well now it's petting the head. That's not the belly. <laughs> uh oh shit. I was supposed to turn the sound off from Pokemon. Whoops. I keep the sound on when I do it locally, but I don't need a sound for stream. Uh so how come your Pokemon has wheels, by the way? Is it a freaking motorcycle or what? Uh, without spoiling too much of the game, yes, it is a motorcycle. In fact, it is the ancient motorcycle. Um, the other game has the future motorcycle. Thank you for the pride bits, Kegsit. Plus 45? But that's 44. 44 plus 45 is 89. That's not even a fun number. Isn't 89 murder? Isn't 8089 the, like, code for murder? Uh, police code 89. Uh, police code, no, crime against nature. Is it 87 that's murder? Uh, nope. Um, anyway. One of one of the ones around there is is murder. <clears throat> uh, Stonkish says, "I'm in a bowling league on Thursday nights. Don't judge me. I used to go bowling every weekend in high school. <laughs> so a long time ago, um, which was fun. I was never any good. I think my best game ever was like 153. My goal whenever I would go bowling was to break 100. If that tells you how good I was." So oh, not not very good, not very good at all. <laughs> Yesterday was a wild ride. You mean with the cubes? 
Yeah, we got there though. Quickly, hello, hello. How you doing? It's 34 plus 35, but a different decimal, a different... Uh, so you're saying that it's like base eight or something? What base is it? Well, it can't be higher than base, it can't be lower than base six. Also, I don't know how I would have possibly... Yeah, no, no, those are fun numbers. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, crime against nature, why are you looking up murder and crimes? Oh, is it 187? Is that what I'm thinking of? It might be 187. Yeah, 187 is murder. Right. Right, that's what it is. Hashtag just Midwest things? What do we got from Midwest news for today? Somehow the sun came out this afternoon and the temperature dropped another three degrees. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. Stonkfish says, I average 200. You have one perfect game? God damn, Stonkfish is actually good. The cubes is singing the one person looking for love. That was one of the wildest chat messages that I have seen. Um, what was it? I want to say they said something like, are you okay with... What was it? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of big bingo, I'm looking for a male 30 plus who's interested in interracial relationships. With the plural. <laughs> and likes cats. And they don't ban me, I need love. <laughs> um, which is without... Wild. Corey said, hello, hello, how you doing? I think half the chat basically just kind of awkwardly didn't say anything. Yeah, and I was just like, I don't like cats. <laughs> um, I also, I don't know the person in chat, so like, how could I possibly, how could I possibly answer that, right? <laughs> Andre Costa, hello, hello. Anthony prefers bunnies? I've never had a bunny. Um... I've had dogs, though. <clears throat> what a time to join, right? Do you prefer bunnies? <laughs> uh, I've never had a bunny. I have, um... I've had friends with bunnies. They live for fucking forever, which is wild to me. Um, that little, little bunny can live for so long. But anyway... That was, um, that was certainly a thing. Friends with benefits. <laughs> uh, let's to do dot lights. Oh, yeah. Elvin Ron, hello, hello. How you doing? Okay, so the plan for today is to work on the runner uh, to refactor using some of the information we had. Oh, oh, I was like, wait, why, why didn't the Vimfits thing work? Oh, it, it did. It is. It's just disabled. It's just disabled. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Pokemon is running right now. Um, uh, hatching eggs. Uh, uh, are you going to sing another song for us today? I don't know. Someone would have to use their channel points. Uh, <clears throat> Did I get scammed on my Vimbits? Not scammed. They are banked. They are banked. See? You have, you have added to the bank. I made sure that it doesn't scam people. They do still end up getting used eventually. Um, but it's, it's disabled right now. Mostly because if I turn it back on, I'm going to forget to turn it back off. Banked forever? No, it'll, I'll, 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 uh, I'll get used in, in January. I'll get used in January. 
but yeah. Not forever, just just not not until uh I'll get used to the name of these speed reads chat at some point. Next year, definitely scam. It's because I don't wanna fuck up having a code. I don't I don't wanna get voomed in the middle of code. Thirty-four plus thirty-five. There's sixty-nine. Funny cringe video. Oh no. Can I even watch this? No, it's gonna get my video claimed. Just like the other video that I got claimed. I'll read the caption though. Who is this? No way. Interesting. Uh, you need to know Ariana Grande? Oh. I cannot... Um, the only song by Ariana Grande that I can think of is, is Thank You Next. Is that Ariana Grande? That better be Ariana Grande. It is, okay. Oof. Thank God. <laughs> Is she a Taco Bell meal or something? <laughs> Can I get an Ariana Grande extra cheese? <laughs> she is SUA from Dreamcatcher. Uh, I see. She makes music? I've only heard of her on Reddit, so I figured she was a porn star. <laughs> South Korea, they're not really open about these topics? Huh. Interesting. I guess... Well, I didn't know that, but... I'll take your word for it, since you seem to be very knowledgeable on this topic. Okay, so... The problem that I'm trying to solve today... Or that I've been trying to solve for a long time... Is kind of three problems. Um... Let me just get you a pre-commit CI run first off. <clears throat> it's kind of three problems. So the first problem is that, well, ignore this. That was, I'm waiting behind myself. That's why it's slow. Uh, the first is that this takes 1.2 seconds and I think it can take microseconds if I do it right. Uh, the other is that due to the way build works today, I can't put any language that implements default language version into a deferred language. It has to be part of the image. And problem three is the latest pre-commit that's unreleased moves Rust to have a default language version. Uh, so I can't use the latest pre-commit in pre-commit CI, which is a problem. So, what's a Korea boo even called? A queeb? Oh, a queeb, that's so cute! A queeb! <laughs> queeb, I like that. It just sounds so adorable, whereas weeb sounds so derogatory. <laughs> God, what a, God, what a weeb. But I'm a queeb! <laughs> Um, okay, anyway, so the problem with this is I have to figure out this code again and then refactor it to work because this, where is it? Um, Yeah. So everything from here to uh here. No. Everything from yeah, here to here. All of this chunk of code uh needs to be needs to be rewritten. So, a bit, a bit of stuff. 
yeah, this part here. <clears throat> Actually, I think all of this needs to be rewritten. Uh, which is annoying, but uh, it's what needs to happen, I guess. Adrian DAA, hello, hello, how you doing? So the first thing that I'm going to try and do is factor out this part here, the local clone. Because uh, I think that is the easiest thing to do. <clears throat> yeah. Do it like Elon and just rebuild it all, right, Blastro? Now we're going to do incremental parts. Uh, Brigude Hugh says, hi, and they write code. What do you think about the Roost programming language? I think Roost is pretty good. I enjoyed writing it. I did not enjoy streaming it. Uh, so I won't be streaming it anymore. But I, I, I think Rust is a good language. Uh, I think people should stop writing C, and Rust is an excellent choice to not write C. Um, you find how did part two of AOC go? I left around two a.m. Uh, pretty good, I think. Uh, only only an hour or so after you left, two a.m. Uh, Eastern time, I assume. Um, I'm pretty well. I've got, I've got these to show for it. Look at, look at, look at, look at these graphs. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to hold on to these because I think they're going to be helpful when I do my YouTube video about AOC. Um... Oh my, what, what do we got? What do we got from Dean Elspere? Mute tab, open thing. Uh, oh, it's got words and I can't listen to the words. You'll just have to tell me what it says. KW Samir says, go or roost? Uh... I would rather not pay. I would. <laughs> I would rather not write Go unless somebody is handing me a large, large, uh, large sack of money. Original Mr. Haste. Hello, hello. How you doing? Uh. Oh, you're fine, Marsha. You're fine. Quality says Nickelback. Yeah. Uh. Did you see that Geohot left Twitter? He wanted to rewrite it and Elon wanted features. Yeah, Geohot's an idiot. Uh, he's never worked at a company that's larger than like two people. Uh, he grossly underestimated the complexity that goes into building a large software company and just assumed that it was all garbage, but was then tasked, he was tasked with doing an extremely simple thing in JavaScript and couldn't even get that done. I also kind of question his ability to do anything, but I think it's funny that his message on Twitter was, I resign from my internship. Like, like it was a position of power. He had to step down from his internship. Bro, you were, you were, a, you were a fucking nobody. You were an intern. You don't resign from an internship, you quit. Or you get fired because you didn't ship anything. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think I think Geohot's failing at an internship just like did wonders for everyone's uh, imposter syndrome. Like, damn, this self-proclaimed 10xer can't even survive a 1x internship. <laughs> uh, Pandoxer, how you doing? Hello, hello. Um. <clears throat> Doesn't go really cool for concurrent stuff? Not necessarily. Like, yeah, it has go routines, which are they're just green threads. Like, every other language has green threads, too. Uh, is a sports guy who is asked to basically be an incoming blizzard and cold weather reporter, sarcastically responding to every question of what's the weather like with, I don't want to be out here. Why is this a thing I've been asked to do? <laughs> That's great. Uh, I've also read FX equals these 
name as FX Qualzy. Yeah. Well, Qualzy told me to call them Qualzy, so that's why we call them Qualzy. <clears throat> he was, though. He worked at Google and Facebook. Not really, though. Not really, though. <clears throat> Setting up NeoVim. Interesting. Uh, he can type really fast, though. Yeah, well, that only gets you so far. Uh, but yeah, last night was fun. We got points. We got a good amount of points. Not enough to... Uh, we we still have to get <laughs> several hundred points... We would have to get over 100 points each day to, I don't know, uh, the last day I can get points. Last day, last day I can get double points, probably. Oh. I think the script is bugged. Yeah, the script is bugged. It missed this A press somehow. Uh, we can, we can, <laughs> we can uh, help it. I don't know why I don't know why it missed that A press. Maybe if somebody can clip it. Probably too late to clip it. Um, but anyway, that'll that should uh continue along fine. Well, maybe it was shiny. Maybe that's why I was <laughs> lagging. I don't know. Um I think people tend to make themselves look more than what they're actually are for a good online tech pro brand. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And 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 GeoHot is all about the 10xer brand, but uh, seemed, seemed like they were a zero xer delivery. Uh, Adrian CGD says, What other programming languages do you know? Okay, I would say I'm very good at, um, yeah, we don't, we don't talk about them in, in here. Uh, okay. uh, Um, so I would say that I know really well Python C, C++ up to C++ 11. Um, Bash, SQL, JavaScript, although I'm better at pre-ES6. Although I've learned a lot of the ES6 stuff. Um, I just delete the chat message. Um... And then languages that I can get buy in. Uh, let's see. What is crit? Thank you for the sub with Prime. Appreciate it. Uh, Go, Rust, Ruby, Java, Kotlin, Scala. Uh, what other JVM shit do I know? Uh, maybe that's the only JVM things. Uh, C sharp. I used to be really good at C sharp. I haven't written it in a long time. I've used to be really good at VB.net. I knew a lot of VB6. I was okay at PHP. Uh, I've written a little bit of Dart. Not enough to be good. Um, what else? I can kind of get by in any sort of imperative ish language. Uh,. Yeah. Sima Mag says, honestly, just be a 10x person, a 1x engineer, and you'll probably be better than the 10x engineer, 1x person. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> uh. Yeah, we're not going to talk about it here. Uh, if you want to talk about it, we can talk about it on, on Discord. Uh, VBA for those juicy macros? Yeah, I've... I've uh, on, some of the first code I wrote was uh, <laughs> VB5. Do Microsoft Word macros. <clears throat> what else? Surely there's other programming languages that I'm just not thinking of. What are all the languages Pregman supports? Do you count Docker as a programming language? <laughs> um, I have not written enough Lua to say that I know how to do it. Nor have I written enough Perl. Nor have I written enough R. Swift? Oh, I've done some Swift and some Objective-C. Forgot about those. Um, I've written several Android apps. I've written an iOS app. Danilash, Lolo. No, nah, we're just using the old keyboard because uh, I'm trying to go fast for Advent of Code. 
Crystal, I've written some Crystal, yeah. Uh, where's things I feel like people look down to 10x person people in tech as if he cannot be both a 10x engineer and 10x person at the same time? <laughs> well, Geohot is definitely not a 10x person. <laughs> Oh, we did get the clip. Yeah, these are very useful for debugging. <laughs> okay. Oh, I wish this was up so we could see whether... Damn. You know what I think happened? I think what happened... Is, does it do text detection for that? Where's hatch one? Hmm. Yeah. So it just does color detection here. So what it probably did is it saw, this is weight 10, so. You know what it probably did is it saw the box as it was appearing and uh, pressed A before, there's a weight here. It should, 11 seconds should be plenty of time for it to press a button. Let me watch one of them hatch. Oh, ugh, it's about to redo a box. Okay, we'll wait a little bit then. Do you know Gleam? I don't. I do know Kotlin, yeah. I don't know Pascal or Delphi. Uh, I don't think it was that. He's a bit brands, reckless, and pompous, but I definitely think he's a good developer. I don't think he is. He couldn't write a simple JavaScript thing. He couldn't do a small feature. That doesn't make you a good developer. Uh, I think he probably joined with the expectation that he'd get to do whatever he wanted. I don't even think that's true either. <laughs> no one can do that. Even if even if they're given a, a blank check, no one can do that. Uh, Easy Light says, I really like C Sharp. Only thing I dislike a bit is you can't enforce nullability. Some of my coworkers give a shit about it, so I have to always validate that I don't get some parameters which are null. Yeah. Is there no strong nullability? I guess every reference could be null. Huh. Angle PT, hello, hello. Text detection, it's just called detection. I <laughs> uh, really like Kotlin for, for it to be strict and give errors if you don't handle all of it. Yeah, I really like that feature of Kotlin. I, I think that's pretty nice. Yeah. Super says, have you used struct, capital struct, struct in C sharp? Or struct as a programming language, or struct as a, I don't, I don't know what it is. Don't forget to add YAML, <laughs> oh fuck. Do you know these nuts? I don't. I don't know these nuts, Stonkfish. Why don't you tell me about these nuts? You can only activate it as a warning, not as an error. Oh. Ew. That's annoying. Oh, one is hatching. Ah, oh, shit. We missed it. Hold on. So. Uh, oh, I want stopwatch, not timer. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's going to press A. Well, it already pressed A on the O. So, see, but it pauses there, so it should be fine. Most of the ways that I've made things more consistent is to, uh, is to read, is to scrape the text from the screen, both because it adds a delay and because it's very it's very reasonable about when it happens, okay. Oh, so uh, subtract 1.3 seconds from this. Oh, you know what it could be? It could be that it's black pixels that it detects, even though, oh, but that's 13 seconds. Okay, so maybe, maybe I should bump this up to 15. Just to make this consistent. Or we can detect the text in the hatch thing there. Uh, what is the programming language that's based on typed Python, not Cython? 
Uh, you mean like my Pi C? But that's just Python. Uh, Vony Alex says, I like the new thumbnails on your channel. You should do them live here. I wonder if it feels awkward doing them. Um, I've done them on my second channel a few times. If it's not in the middle of the night, I'll go live on my bot channel and do thumbnails. A uh, few of you have caught my thumbnailing streams. Uh, <laughs> one of them is on YouTube, I think. Uh, Goku Q, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. I think there's one on here. I think the irony is it doesn't have a thumbnail. Unless I did... Unless I did make a thumbnail? No, it would have been after the new house one. Uh, so it must have a thumbnail. Did I not upload it? Oh, here it is. Thumbnailing. <laughs> All right, fuck it. You know, it's a good, uh, Um, yeah, so we put together thumbnails on stream. We did do it. Oh, it's weird that I have shitty audio here. Weird that the audio is fucked up here. Anyway, my thumbnailing streams are usually very scuffed, but they do exist. <clears throat> I caught part of the accidental live stream on the wrong account. Yeah, 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 that was super awkward. Webcam audio is still pretty good, ignoring the echo. So what it was actually doing there, Simpaz, is it had both, it had both inputs. Uh, it had both the microphone input and something else. So it was, it was doubling the input. Here, I can even go to the scene and show you. Yeah. So if you hear this, this is both the microphone and it's coming from, it's coming from my camera actually. It's not coming from. Uh, from the, it's not from the webcam, it's from my, uh, my fancy Sony camera. So yeah, that's why, that's why it, uh, sounds awful. But it's, it's doubled audio, that's why it's weird. Taco! Hello, hello. How you doing? I was there for the OIM live stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's no more evidence of that stream ever occurring. <laughs> It was too embarrassing, so I, I had to delete it and the VOD. <clears throat> I felt like I was watching a home renovation video. <laughs> With all of the... Uh, <laughs> uh, the shitty audio, yeah. yeah. I don't know why they're all so bad, but... Anyway. Anyway, okay, so... Should we fix this? Or should I increase the sleep? Or should I work on pregamate? <laughs> what do you want to do, chat? <laughs> I got choices. 1366 notifications on YouTube. Yeah, the reason for that is every time somebody subscribes to the channel, uh, it doesn't even show me the notification button anymore. Usually it shows me notifications here. Uh, but every time somebody subscribes, I get a notification. So I just... Don't ever look at notifications there. <clears throat> Echony, echo, Echony is not real, can't hurt you. Echony, yeah. Uh, if they don't even look at the shit, so let's just turn the button off, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think if I... Oh, we won't actually see this. What did it just do? Oh, it's fucked up. It's desynced here too. Okay, well, a good good enough time as any to cancel this. Can somebody click what just happened there? 
What was it supposed to do? It was supposed to switch boxes and it didn't do it. Can someone clip it? <laughs> ah! This shit's buggy! Alright, I'm gonna bump up asleep here. I'm gonna bump up asleep here. I don't know what it just desynced on the other one. And this will be good enough, hopefully. Clips.twitch.tv slash create. <laughs> that sounds like the right clip to me. Okay. Oh, but we don't see the buttons that are pressed. Okay, so it picks up the Pokemon. It moves them over. That's right. Oh. Oh, but it didn't move them over. Ah, I see what happened. Yeah, it ate an input. <sighs> annoying. That's annoying. Econy? <laughs> yeah. Full screens of it, now we can't see it. Oh, sorry. Here. I'll show you I'll show you what it did again. So uh So it's hard to see here, but it Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. Okay, so it it picked up the Pokemon from the party and then moved them over to the fourth slot, failed to put it down, then moved over to here, and then tried to move eggs over and failed. So it was it was not in the correct spot. And I can probably fix that by detecting the actual cursor position rather than just hoping it shows up in the right spot. But that's complicated, so I'm just going to restart it and call it good enough. Uh, but I have to do some manual box editing. Um, press A. Um, R. Well, I got through most of the boxes, though. Minus the fuck-ups. Uh, box is two. Uh, let's make sure that it gets the first part right because this is the fucky thing. Yeah, okay, there we go. This The game is actually just bugged there. <laughs> so I have to work on a bug in, in the game. Uh, Mini Jake says, is it recommended to use features for most recent Python versions? I'm thinking about match case. If somebody does not have three time, they can't ex execute the script. That's true. That's true. Stockfish has to go. Well, thank you for stopping by. Good to see you. Um, I don't like match, personally. I will never use it. Um... But if you want to use it, by all means. But people, you know, if you use a version, if you use a feature from a version of Python, older Pythons won't be able to run it. That's true. So worry about your, you know, if you're worried about your minimum support, then by all means, you know, use things that target older versions. Um, in some cases, you can backport the features, but I wouldn't really recommend that. Uh, okay, I want to watch One Egg Hatch because we changed the timing. It should hopefully make it slightly more consistent. It should also make it wait to press A a little bit longer after the screen, the the second screen opens. Except for <laughs> except for if it's a shiny Pokemon, and then it won't do that because <laughs> there's a there's a further delay. Um. In that, okay. So press A here. Good. Now. Have lay pig. It waits a little bit and then presses A. Okay, I think that'll be a little bit more consistent. Uh. Uh. 
I'm going to attempt this one. Can you assign it to me? I don't use the assign feature because if someone abandons working on it, then it'll look like it's in progress forever. And people will be discouraged from even attempting. Um. <clears throat> Work on it if you want. Good luck. Is there something like Babel for Python? You mean like making something shittier? Making, making older backporting things? Not really. Although I've made a thing that does that for a particular feature. So it is possible. Um. This works in Python too. For instance, but I made this as a joke. I don't know that there would ever be anything seriously doing that. Um, and MicroPython used this for a long time. And <laughs> I wonder if it's still being downloaded. This was like my second or third most downloaded package ever. Holy shit, it is only increasing in downloads. I hate everything. What the fuck? Why are 40,000 people a day downloading this? Why? Oh, this just makes me so sad. Treatment should be higher though, right? Okay, thank God. Treatment's a 10 exit, but still. But still, like I think it's more popular than Pi Upgrade. Now, granted, I think most people install Pi Upgrade through Precommit. <laughs> yeah, Future F Strings gets more downloads than Pi Upgrade. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you have your ARC solutions on GitHub? Yes, if you do bang GitHub, you can find my stream GitHub, which is where I put those. Damn, did it desync already? What the fuck? It's been really buggy today. What happened this time? Uh, uh, why do I only have four Pokemon in the party? Where did the other egg go? What? Where'd the other Pokemon go? <laughs> Did it happen to press the right keyboard combination to release a Pokemon? What the hell happened? Can somebody clip that? <laughs> what is going on here? Why is it not letting me use any of the things? Oh, the Pokemon's back. What the hell just happened? What? What the fuck is going on? Why did that Pokemon disappear? <laughs> Oops, that's not what I want. Okay, I promise we're gonna do actual things today and not just fuck around with Pokemon. Um, but the buggier this is, the more we're doing Pokemon. <laughs> uh, but once it's done with these two boxes, the other script is way more stable than this one. So, and it does way less complicated things. Oh, I need to move over box. Uh. You open the menu while hatching dialogue is still going somehow? I don't know. Someone would have to show the clip. Might be too late. Uh, damn. Oh, well. That's fine. That's fine. I will check them on later. Does anyone know if there's a flygate plugin for bid code in init.py? I don't know if one exists, but there might be one. 
We're not using it, thank god. Simpa says, stuck with Python 2, but want to use excellent F strings feature to make it maybe much more productive. Here's how to do it. Thread emoji, point down emoji. <laughs> Kill me. Uh, Fixture Jake, hello, hello. Boto 3 is almost at 19 million a day. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts. Which also means that Neuralib 3 has even more downloads because it's a dependency. Uh, which uh, I wonder what would happen if Boto 3 switched off of Neuralib 3. <laughs> like, I wonder how few downloads it gets. Also, it's wild how much... Ooh, voice crack. <clears throat> it's wild how much Boto 3 gets downloaded. Like... People must be installing AWS Cli on boot on millions of machines and just constantly doing sudo pip install, which just terrifies me. But um, Yeah, I know about is even is odd and his number. Yeah, NPM is fairly popular for doing stupid shit like tiny micro packages. This is more just why. <laughs> why are you using this thing? Also, most of the most of the installs are in Python three, so there's literally no reason to be using it. Well, now I'm even more confused. And the highest proportion is people using three eight. Okay, so people are just idiots. Then this is what I'm learning. Two seven even is two seven is barely on this chart. It's one percent. What the fuck? What the fuck? And it's people on Linux too. It's like actual people, and and Darwin. Usually, I see null is the big number here. It's weird that it's like actual real, real installs. Very weird. <sighs> T. Bolt's number says, is number doesn't sound super unreasonable for JavaScript, except you can just say type of you just do this. I don't need a fucking package for this. There's no reason to have a package to do that. <clears throat> oh, did you, did you get the clip? I wish I could theater mode this. Chen Roger, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, what? How did the Pokemon disappear, though? That's what's really weird. I'm also going to bother that. Pip install is instance? Yeah, basically. Basically, it's not that different. Nan is type number? It's still a number. It is a number type. Uh, I, I still expect this. And you would want to use is nan. You also need to check number minus number triple equals zero if you want to see if the variable is a number. Oh, you would just use is nan. And I also don't think that works for infinity. Like, I think this is correct, but I think infinity minus infinity is not what you expect. Because you get nan. And nan, I guess nan doesn't triple equal zero. Possible, but... I think if you're exp if you're randomly getting infinity and nan in your code, you have bigger problems. Um, <clears throat> but there seems to be a lot of latency on the capture. Uh, so there's always latency on capture. Which is kind of, it's kind of normal. The capture is usually like slightly behind because it's at 720p. Maybe it's because I'm streaming. That usually makes it lag more. But usually it should be it should still be consistent. Like I, the code should still handle that. I don't know why it's like really 
weirdly, but yeah. Randomly getting nan and just witness me doing neural networks in JavaScript. Yeah. Is nan nan is only true in strict mode? What? Oh, I guess you would want to use number dot is nan. For number values, it tests if the number is nan. When it's not number, it gets coerced. Yeah, so you would use you would you would use this, and then you would call is nan. Okay, that's consistent. Yeah, seems fine. But I've literally never needed to test for NAN. I've written lots and lots of JavaScript. I've also never needed to test for infinity or negative infinity. Like those are things that just should not happen in a normal program. You shouldn't you shouldn't care about those edge cases most of the time, almost all the time. Um, if you're caring about those cases, I question the rest of your code more so than the need of using is number. This is insane. This is this is actual insanity. Also, it's wild that people are freezing the old version too. I wonder if we can find it on GitHub. I think we tried to find this before and didn't find anything helpful. We just found like hundreds of. <laughs> uh, we should use source graph because it's going to be less shit. Future f strings uh, it might be an underscore of this. We'll see if someone is listed in their setup.py. No one. BFG. Dot text. Oh, I need to enable reg regular expressions. Fuck. Nothing is matching. Oh, enable regexes. I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, let's do setup.py first. And can I sort by 18, only 18 results though. So I can just scroll through all these. Okay, so there is pi e core. Power pi power bi cursed. Oh, this is this is drug time lord. <laughs> this is someone using it. This would never work. Oh my god. <laughs> Unless they're. I know what they're doing. I don't want to know what they're doing. Seems future FS related. Untested below that. Oh God, what are people doing? Okay, but that doesn't really explain why there's tens of thousands Facebook research plotly dash docs uh, wormhole HA security solutions vuln whisperer FCFG don't know what the fuck that is 
Swordcraft used to sort by popularity. It probably still does, I just don't know how to do it. But um yeah, I guess this some of these probably explain it. The wild though. Kegs it's heading out, well thank you for stopping by. Um <clears throat> Just saw some talks about dumb things in JavaScript, and NAND was an object with a specific reference. So if you had two instances of NAND, they're not the same. Uh, no, that's different. So uh, IEEE floats. This is this is consistent in like any language. Um, this is spec in IEEE that not a number should never be equal to not a number. So it's it's pretty normal that NAND does not triple equals NAND. It's one of the few exceptions to just like, it's, it's just a general thing. It's the same reason in like SQLite, or uh, in SQL in general, uh, if you check for a quality, you don't get back true or false, you get back null. Um, so that's why you use null is null instead, or is not null. Um, because equality with null is squishy, you're always gonna get null back. This is not this is not specific to SQLite. This is just like SQL in general. Aerobon <laughs> says, hi, muting bot. <laughs> but I'm not doing a advent of code. I promise. How are you doing, Aerobon? <laughs> Doesn't feature F strings also for Python less than 3.6? Yeah, that, that was the point. The, that was the point. But I don't think anyone's using 3.5 or whatever. Um... Or at least I don't know of anyone using 3.5. Okay, let's actually do some fucking work today. <sighs> okay, so the first thing that I want to do is factor out this local clone thing. Um, and I think the easiest way to do that is what? Interesting that this is conditional also. Will actually be lurking, possibly napping. Sounds good, sounds good. How the problem end up going last night? Pretty good. Despite spending four hours on it, um, three and a half hours on it, we got there. Um, I have cool, uh, cool real life um, problem representations. This is the this is the small input, and this is the big input. Um, then they they fold up so that I can reason about their their edges and stuff but i actually don't like them folded up i like them laying flat because i thought they were easier to like reason about with them laying flat though oh and i made a cool um i made a cool visualization for them too well not that cool uh oh right we have to <laughs> We have to make my terminal small enough to render it. <laughs> yeah, so like this is the uh, this is the big input, and it shows just the current face and as it travels around and stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, and for the small input, uh, uh. I think I have a blank small input. This was just one that I was testing. For the small input, yeah. It shows the whole the whole cube. This was so I could debug stuff cuz it was <laughs> it was super fucked up the first time, so this is how I fixed how I fixed my bugs. Um, but it was fun. Uh Adoring Fandolf says, "Have you heard of or have any thoughts on the Odin project as a way of learning programming?" Uh, like Odin, the programming language? There's a programming language called Odin that I've heard of that I've never done anything about. Uh, it was like one hour in and I was about to pass out. Yeah, Eric seemed very excited about part two. Yeah, Eric really liked part two. I do them as they come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, now this is gonna be the wrong size. Uh, it's going to be too small also. I actually have to make it shorter than this window. There we go. Now it'll be the right size. Okay. So, close. 
Yeah. So my goal is to get the repository information without calling a script. I think I can do that now that I have all the meta information available. But it bugged out. So let's um I don't know where to start with this. I hate when I don't know where to start with something. That that's the annoying part. Um hmm. Well, friend, hello, hello. Um, <clears throat> so I need to pull down the meta language. Oh, I think what I was working on last time is factoring things out so that they were separated. I was in the middle of doing something, but I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Oh, I hate that. Be like store put local clone. Okay, so this is what I want to try and factor out. Factor move around or change first. Um So let's figure out let's step build. Needed clones. Okay, I think let's try and factor this out first. The needed clone stuff. I think this is going to be the easiest thing to do. Uh, Elma says, this is why I write to-dos in a notebook. Yeah, I do that also, but um, I also, so <laughs> this is one of the things where like, I know the end result that I want, but I don't know the path that I want to get to get there. And uh, if I were to figure out the path to get there, I would have already implemented it. Because the code part isn't hard. Um, which is why I'm working on this right now. Because it's hard. Let's put a do look here tomorrow if I quit. Yeah, the thing is, like, I had finished some incremental part in this a month ago. Um, and I got the idea to do it a different way yesterday. Do you mind describing the end result? Sure. So right now this build step does a bunch of things. Uh, uh, the first thing it does is it runs a Docker container to parse YAML and spit out uh, local.tgz, which is for repo local. Uh, that's what this does here. It also tells, it, well, all right, so it runs a Docker container to parse the YAML, and it provides this information. The repositories needed uh, and local.tgz. It does two things. It probably should only do one, but it's faster to do both of the things at the same time, so that's why it does both at the same time. Uh, but this takes like a second, about a second, because running a container takes a while. All right, so the next thing that it does is it tries to see, um, I think it also runs another Docker container. Uh, yeah, runs another Docker container, which is build one get M's. So then it runs another Docker container. Uh, oh, I guess then after that, it clones those repos if they're not already cached. Uh, then the third step is it figures out what things it needs to build. Runs a Docker container. Uh, uses the cloned metadata to figure out what to build. Oops. Uh, and then that's what this does and then it needs to figure out what languages are needed to do those builds uh, and it downloads those languages again if needed 
and then it uh, builds the environments if needed. Uh, yeah, so that's what it does. That's what it does right now. And I want to be able to not run Docker container to do this. Is the goal. <clears throat> so the end result, what it probably should do instead is one pull language meta layer from Docker. Uh, this includes uh, language to default. Uh, well, it includes two things. One is info.json, which is um, which is language to default and hamster. Uh, I'm a mapping of that. And the other thing it contains is uh, local.tgc. The same thing that this was producing before. With this information, I should be able to do all of these clones. I should be able to do steps two, three, and four without running any Docker containers. Uh, and I should be able to do that in like milliseconds rather than having to do a whole bunch of work. Uh, Pila Pala, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Bellwada, how you doing? Uh, sometimes I know a less than ideal way to do it, but I keep thinking for way longer than I should for a better way to do it. Yeah. A month is some time ago. I also wouldn't know where to start or where I implemented things last time. Yeah, I know where all the code is in this. Like, I, I, I keep all this in my head. Um, so it's, it's not really like the code navigation part. It's more like, how do I put the parts where I need them to be? I could also add more steps to this too, but yeah. Uh, so you want to skip the virtualization step? No, it's more like right now I lean on pre-commit. I, I I lean on pre-commit inside the container to do all this parsing stuff. Um, when I can just. It's just YAML. There's nothing special, magical about it. So I, I just want to do the YAML outside. The hard part before was knowing knowing information about the inside container. I didn't have a good way to communicate that without running a container. Uh, but now I have figured out. I, I've, I've made advancements in making a container that I can rebase dynamically. And so I can use that dynamic rebasing to figure out the contents of a layer without actually running it. Oh, I got replies on my uh my uh on my iPad issue. Uh I'd be tempted towards document this as a difference. Hmm. IPy might accept named arguments for built in functions or CPython doesn't. Potential issue with this approach, if CPython later decides to name an argument, they will likely pick a different name and then PyPy needs to do a breaking change to remain compatible. Uh, how did you discover this? I wonder if there are more places we differ. Yeah, I can I can answer that. Because I think it's actually kind of relevant for like making this the same. Uh, <laughs> right, I downloaded my own issue because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> um. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, cool. Heptapod does not support personal forks. We allow anyone with developer status, which is why you need an invite to push to an unlocked branch on this repo. Cool. Okay. Uh, Pillar Palin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to get distracted by PyPy. I hope that's okay. Uh... I wonder if there are more places we differ from C Python. The method is defined in this. Okay, yeah, I told I found this method. I found that. Uh, is there an annotation trick to use an unwrap spec and provide a default or as a quag, but make the actual function reject quags? Any places I see that raise an error with the takes no keyword arguments uses double under args and the actual signature. 
Uh, uh, so I ran into this sort of by accident while working on working on advents of code. Uh, the C Python docs, admittedly, are incorrect here. And uh, were they? Python three collections. Rotate. Yeah. Um. Uh. So while solving advent of code, I treated it as a named argument, and I've been using PyPy to solve since it goes, <laughs> since it is very fast. Um, when I went to, when I went to commit my solution, uh, um, the type checker pointed out the type checker uh my pie pointed out that uh rotate does not take keyword arguments and uh and sure enough when i tried my solution with c python it was broken <clears throat> Do 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 uh mm. I reorder this. We're gonna sort of by accident while we're gonna code, so we're in so while solving Advent code, I treated it as a named argument. And I've been using pi by three to solve since it's very fast. Actually, I think the original order was probably fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably just make a little docs, two character documentation update. Uh, But hey, now they have showed me how to do how to do mercurial things. Maybe I'll do that later. I think committing to PyPy might be fun. Yeah, let's um let's see if the C Python docs do anything else. Uh, annotate other things as position only. Uh... Uh, this should have another dot star. Yeah. So this does. Yeah. Okay. So there are other places where there are default named only arguments. So I can do that as well. Yeah. You think these are named only also? Let's look at all of them for deck. Okay, so we have start from the beginning. C dot append x equals one. That one's that one is uh positional only. Uh, this one is positional only. Uh, 
Oh, I wonder if the construction is positional only too. No, this is actually named. <laughs> what the fuck? The iterable sh totally should be position only. This is position only. Uh, extend. This is positional only, which probably means extend left is also positional only. Oh, I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> I think X is positional only, but the others are not. Oh, it's not. It's not at all. So this is also positional only. Interesting. Insert IX probably also is positional only. Uh, pop left, remove. Isn't that REPL 310? Yeah. We know this one is positional only. Cool. You're making a PR to 311? Yeah. No way it changed. Otherwise, someone would have documented it. Actually, I'm making a PR to 312. Wilfred says, what did you eat for dinner or what's for dinner? Oh, it's 6 p.m. already. Um, I had breakfast. Uh, I had a breakfast burrito with vegetarian, spicy vegetarian sausage and cheese and sauces. I probably should have put eggs in it too, but I didn't bother. And I don't have any potatoes, otherwise I would have put potatoes in it also. Um, but it was basically just cheese, sausage, and burrito, which was really good, which was really good. Um, I did have, uh, some real good looking pasta location that Fixer Jake is alluding to yesterday. Uh, this was a zucchini, zucchini ricotta, uh, and then red sauce with cheese. Uh, which was which was real good. I had breakfast for dinner. I mean, I had I woke up at one p.m. Eastern. Uh, right now it's 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 basically like it's three p.m. because I'm doing Pacific time. Um, yeah, zucchini is fucking good. I have I had not had zucchini until um, <laughs> well this this <laughs> I'll admit this is a HelloFresh meal. Um, maybe I'll get sponsored sometime and then. I really want to, so I want to get sponsored by like the shitty, you know, meal company things and then just do, um, and do, uh, do meal streams. But I had never had zucchini until HelloFresh and zucchini is fucking amazing and they put it in everything and it's so good. It's like, it's perfect too because it has like a very subtle flavor, but it picks up whatever flavors you're, you're cooking with. It fries well, it, you know, it. Be in a sweet dish, be in a salty dish. It works better in a salty dish. But it's so good. It's so good. Right, Choco? Oh my god, you too. Yeah. I had never had zucchini before then, but uh yeah, it's so fucking good. Um Right, zucchini with tzatziki. Sounds good. Sounds good. But yeah, zucchini is real good. Um but yeah, I I made I made this yesterday. Um I have no self-control and it's portioned for two people. Uh, so I don't have any of this anymore. <laughs> but admittedly, I, I kind of only had two meals yesterday, so I don't feel so bad about it. But um, but yeah, I had this yesterday. I don't know what I'm gonna make for dinner today. This is for two people? Yeah. The, 
the scaling maybe doesn't the dish is pretty big um but it's it's shallow it's the dish the dish is like this big maybe um it's a little misleading this isn't a great there's no banana for scale here uh there's a hot pad for scale and the cooking stream yeah i've been trying to I've been slowly getting getting my kitchen set up so I can do kitchen streams. Um, I need my dad to help me though, uh, because what I've done is uh, we're gonna draw a small diagram of my house. Uh, this is well, we're gonna draw two of the floors of my house. So this is the basement area. <laughs> oh no, I just had an intrusive thought chat. <clears throat> Do you want to hear my intrusive thought? <laughs> I'm going to get bonked for this. I'm 100% going to get bonked for this. Basement is a weird word. <laughs> There's my intrusive thought. Now you can see inside my head. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, anyway. In my basement, um, I... What am I going to use for this black? Sure. In my basement, um, I have like a little network room in the corner over here. Uh, actually, I don't even... I think it's just the full, full width here. Oh, actually, this is a bad diagram. We're going to start over. <laughs> I deserve that bunk. How did you notice that? I noticed it a long time ago and typing it out reminded me of it. <laughs> okay, let's just do the basement first. Okay, so the basement looks like this. No. It's a cut out here. <clears throat> okay, so my basement looks kind of like this. Where... No, it's not quite like that. So this part here doesn't exist. It's like a negative space under the garage. So like, there's nothing under the garage. Uh, this is my little network room. And the stairs come down here. Uh, oh, actually, That's maybe not the best place to put this. Stairs come down here. Stairs. And then back here is a furnace room. <clears throat> and then there's a bathroom here. Size. Mm. Uh, Shri NB, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. There's a kitchenette here. For the deal. It's actually open. There's no walls. Kitchenette. And it is open. And then there's an exercise room over here. Uh... Okay, anyway. So above the furnace room is my kitchen. So if we're gonna like draw an imaginary kitchen here, this is like my kitchen island uh, and my like cooktop and other stuff is here above the furnace room. And so uh, I want to have ethernet here in the island so that I can I can record and stream from here, you know, but present this area and this area and like maybe set up cameras there. In order to do that, I need to drill through the floor and I have routed a cable. Uh, actually, it's on the left hand side of the stairs. Yeah. Actually, this is not quite to scale. It, it's more like this. 
Yeah, right, right there-ish. I have routed a cable into the furnace room. I have not drilled it through the ceiling yet, um, but through the ceiling of the floor here into my network room. So I've run this cable. I just haven't drilled it through the floor yet. Uh, so I need, to, I need to do that. And then I'll be able to stream from my kitchen. <clears throat> At this point, you should have a My House template where you can fill with Wi-Fi config fiber and outer router position. Yeah, oh, actually, speaking of which, uh, we can add that to this diagram. I have just put in, oops, that's not a circle. Going in, guys. Thank you for the resub at 19 months. 19 months. Holy shit. <laughs> Good to see you again. Uh, I have put in a... What the fuck? Use the circle tool. There we go. I have put in... Um, next to the line that I just ran, I have put in a access point in my basement. So now I have good Wi-Fi in my basement, too. <clears throat> uh, ba, 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 ba. Corgettes cut into four lengthwise. Cut the middle. Seams cut. Cut in the cubes. What are you saying, Bellwater? Oh, you're talking about food. You're talking about food. Food. What is a courgette? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Excalibur? No, no. No, we don't Excalibur in here. We we write paint. We paint here. Don't you dare write the word again. <laughs> Basement. The semen tea. <laughs> yeah. Dinner tea says, do you want a sword for Christmas? <laughs> what would I do with a sword? Uh, Sri, hello, hello. How you doing? Uh, what's the temperature in Ann Arbor right now? Um, the snow has begun. Well, it's raining right now, but it's 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 about to get crazy. Well, actually, these are only forty percent. It is hundred percent raining right now, though. But yeah, weather's weather's about to get nut. Uh, look at Mr. Fancy with a basement bathroom. <laughs> okay, so the previous owners DIY'd the basement, and they had no fucking idea what they were doing. Um, there's actually like a, a a glaring mistake in the basement bathroom, um, which is that they didn't put a trap on the shower. Uh, if you know anything about plumbing, if you don't put a trap on the shower. Anytime other water runs in your house, you hear it out of the drain. That's the first problem, is, which is just kind of annoying. The other problem is if your sewage system ever backs up, the trap is to prevent it from entering your house. So if you ever have back pressure from your sewage, it's just going to come up through the floor there, which is, which is not great. Uh, also, any of the gases, it's, it's meant to make a seal from any gases. So if you have even just gas pressure, you're going to get gas pressure that comes out of your drain. The other problem is it's really hard to fix because it's tiled over. So you would have to, you have to rip out the whole thing in order to fix it. Um, but it looks really nice, but it's, yeah, they didn't, they didn't implement the trap properly. So I'll have to fix that at some point. But for now, it's just kind of annoying. It hasn't been an actual problem yet, but it may be at some point. Let me do the man in the kitchen beside the bathroom. I didn't do the basement. I just bought the house. Seaplane says, uh, does VirtualBox slow down the Linux system? No. Uh, modern, modern virtualization. Oh. Why is my switch running around in circles? Is it done? I think it might be done. Uh, modern virtualization doesn't... Uh, the, the code runs... Yeah, okay, it's done. All right, I gotta check for shinies. <laughs> in, in modern virtualization, uh, the code runs directly on on the processor. It's not it's not emulated. Uh, the only thing that's emulated is the I/O, so that part is actually slower. Um, but even emulated I/O is, is still pretty fast. So bear with me a sec. Um, I'm just gonna check if I got a shiny Pokemon or not. Um, <clears throat> temporarily turn on. Oh, why is this box look weird? Actually, I think that's normal. Okay, I am looking for a little icon above the types that will be 
I'll just show you what a shiny looks like. Uh, so for instance, this is shiny. See how it has the two sparkles uh, under the status thing? Outcast Shadows, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. That's what I'm looking for here in these hatched Pokemon. I'm just going to flip through these real quick. Uh, sorry, this is the most boring part of the stream, right? <laughs> there is a faster way to check using the Pokedex, but I think it's actually slower when there's three different Pokemon and I don't know what number they are. And finding them in the Pokedex is a pain in the ass. Because uh, the Pokedex keeps track of which uh, sprites of Pokemon that have multiple forms and Shiny shows up as a separate form. Uh, so that's how I found that this, I have this starter shiny because those are right at the beginning of the Pokedex and very easy to find. Like one more box. And not getting a shiny in six boxes is not really unlucky because it's one in 512. Okay. Did not get shiny, so we just close out and do it again. Um. <clears throat> All right. Fixed Jake added the permitted term bingo bongo. What did that get automated for? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jake, what? What category did Automod think that bingo bongo was bad? Could get is a cucumber. I actually don't like cucumber. Oh, could get a zucchini. Mm. Mm. Uh, has anyone worked on front end or landing page animations? Uh, I have. Why is your switch so dark? Yeah, because uh, it had done the screen saving thing. So Bony Alex says, what does your sleep schedule look like? Right now it's fucked up because, um, because of advent of code. Um, so, gonna be right here. I got a... Give me a sec. Um, right now I'm doing Pacific time, uh, and I slept in a little today, so I actually woke up at 1 p.m. <laughs> 1 p.m. Eastern, which is like, you know, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, all right, dot eggs, 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 eggs. Sure, we'll run it three times. So in an hour and a half, I will have to look at it again. Cool. Uh, Grim sometimes does streams from his server basement and workbench, building Raspberry Pi stuff for working on hardware in general. A well cup workbench is something great, and you can also stream from there with your access point. Yeah, I actually have a really nice workbench in my uh, in my furnace room, so I can do that. Okay, Shadow says backflow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tap to five, hello, hello. Uh, I just plug it till you fix it. I assume you don't use it much of it all. Yeah, I've never used the, the shower. Uh, he wants a sword for Christmas and a lifelong partner. I mean, I'm always looking for a lifelong partner. You know, we can, can't necessarily just grow those on trees. Uh, Eight lame, hello, hello, how you doing? <laughs> Belwada says, give me the sword and keep the partner. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, it's 6, it's 6 p.m. where I am. Uh, after seeing that Anthony has a basement kitchen, does that make him more of a catch? <laughs> Currently, my basement kitchen is just used to... Oh, I didn't even show the coolest part of my, my diagram here. There's a, there's a neat little box right here uh, next to the stairs. This is this is just excessive. <laughs> I have a wine cellar. <laughs> that part's that part's a little excessive. Um <clears throat> I want the burden of a boyfriend. The burden. Oh no. Can you automate the shiny search? Yeah, I 100% could. Um so 
think I actually have a recording. I found the timestamp. It's at 4.50. 4.50. No, this video is only five seconds long. Ten minutes long. It can't be this one. Oh, maybe it is this one. This one I edit it down. Oh shit, sorry, this is not I thought it was in this video. Maybe not. Uh was it this video? Yeah, it's this one. It's this first egg that hatches here. It's shiny. So I can't actually figure out whether it's shiny because the delay between the first dialogue and the second dialogue is like two seconds longer if it's shiny, uh, which is the same trick that I used for um, for uh, the other encounter detection. Um, that's the sexy ant thunk behind purple area. <laughs> I can't think of. So everybody, hello, hello. The... Uh, the um, Minecraft shirt, Anthon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I could automate this shiny search. Memory failure, name resolution. My university always has DNS issues, and I can't provide the static IP unless the SSL cert is only for the name. <laughs> uh, Fix Jake says, I let my ABD side win. What's ABD? I don't know what ABD is. Shaz Robot says, Oh shit, that's my room in the wine cellar? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, Martosio, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. There are like 70 guys here and 20 girls. Anthony, I love your... Yeah, this one's shiny. Okay, so 605. So you'll see here, um, when I press A, uh, right here, There's a pause here for the shiny animation that's like two seconds long. Um, and so that's how you can detect whether it's shiny or not. Uh, Lil Maniac Loco, thank you for the follow. I think I love your stream, but I need benefits. Give me a man. <laughs> I can't. They don't. I, how? How? Oh, bad. Oh, my bad side. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Next job says, are you creatent precommit? Uh, I'm going to say yes, just assuming. We should have an Anthony dating stream. Then Ginger will get a shot. Oh no. Yeah. We'll switch into just catting and just just catting. Just chatting and do speed dating. That actually happens. That there's if that's if that's a content you want to see, that happens on Twitch all the time. I cannot get behind it though. I feel like I feel like it's like the most cringy content. Uh... Um. <clears throat> yeah, get you just automate that for me. I don't know why that happens. I don't know much about DNS. I'll try any more DNS servers. Any of the stuff remotely is terrifying. I just use eight 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 and eight eight four four or one one one. Uh, those seem to work fine for me. Um. <clears throat> I just want a computer nerd who I don't have to worry about dying. <laughs> You're traumatized. What does that mean? I don't know, I do dangerous stuff sometimes. Like this morning. There's literally a sign at my climbing gym that just says, bouldering is dangerous. I'm like, yeah, that's why we're here, because it's fun. <laughs> I'm putting ChatGPT on the band phrase. Please do, thank you. <clears throat> oh, can you, can you add them? I don't, I don't know if you can, uh... can you edit the band list? Because I don't know that you can. If you can, please do. Because uh, I don't. I'm tired of talking about ChatGPT. <laughs> uh, that was legendary. Started reading Ginger's message. La la la. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, my uh, my ADHD is uh, easy to, especially while streaming. <laughs> like Jesus. Uh, Mess don don danum. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Cybergenic says, I'm down to be the host. I'll introduce the date and you guys just chat. <laughs> uh, 
Someone who sits in a dark corner with a little hunch will be safe in his little corner? I don't think that's me. I may look like I sit in a dark corner, but uh, I am more active than the average person. What am I doing? Oh, we're making the C Python patch. Uh, document positional only arguments for collections dot deck. Ugh. Uh, ba, 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 it has 8888 after the router's IP. Oh, so then your router's probably fucking you, I would imagine. <laughs> or your router, your router, your router's messing you up. <laughs> uh, I am going to skip news and hope that someone else is just like, yeah, this is a documentation PR. <clears throat> Uh, ran into this accidentally while using PyPy and then was surprised when I used C Python and it didn't work. <clears throat> uh, actually, maybe I should remove that from here and add it as a comment. Uh, oh, did that not? There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, that's cool. Documentation PRs automatically get the, uh, the skip news and, uh, docs comment. That's cool. Um, see? Uh, uh, Graham's iPad says, is your corporate license plate going to be pre-cum so people know you created pre -cum? <laughs> You know, you're not the first person to make that joke. Um, <clears throat> but I don't think I'm going to customize the license plate. I think I'm just going to go with a stock standard one. Not sure if this is inappropriate or not, but are you Jewish? No follow-up questions. I am not. Uh, do you have any advice for a first-year software engineering student? Asks T-Bone Mahoney. Um, yeah, build projects. Uh, what the hell is this chat? Am I in the wrong channel, right? Um, build projects. Uh, yeah. Build things that make you, that you want to see get done. You'll be more, motivated, more motivated to learn and build stuff. Um, <laughs> Valada says run. <laughs> Ruder, right? Metal Storm? Yeah. <clears throat> We're in a simping session? Yeah. And I'll be in the basement. Yeah, I, I have led chat astray. This is my fault today. I am to blame here. Blink twice if you need saving. No, I'm fine. I'm, I locked my front. Oh, wait. I think my front door is unlocked again. Oh, you can just use slash add block term. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Shaz. Uh, uh, Benavir is already mad about the issue number. What the fuck? <laughs> Why would it allow me to surely skip news? I don't need an issue, right? Right? Anyway. Um... I think I will just say, I think somebody will add skip issue on there and then I won't have to worry about it. In theory. <clears throat> Wolfred says, build an entire ERP system like I did for my first project. Oh my God. He blinked twice. Shit. Help. <laughs> All right, me and Chuck are coming. <laughs> yeah, fly across the country to save a streamer. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, Shaz says, I actually can't just do that. It says that, but it doesn't recognize the command. I have to do it through the dashboard. Oh, wait, but you can do it through the dashboard? Because I couldn't figure out how to do it on the dashboard. Because I was trying to do, I was trying to block the spammer phrases in Snow's channel. But, 
Oh, it is blocked now. Okay. I'm going to set them as private. Okay, but you can set them there, so that's useful. Good, good to see. Good to, good to know. Sick. Nice. Uh, Sahil, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. <clears throat> Gamer Snipefan says, I'm glad you're streaming every day so I can build back up my babby balance that was stripped away from me. Yeah. <laughs> David Music, hello, hello. How you doing? Uh... Why would int need an int dot is integer method? <laughs> so the reason that that exists is for a dumb reason. Oh wait, I don't have that. Is that on three eleven? It doesn't have one. What are you talking about? I think it's on floats. Yeah, it's on floats. I think it's being added to int because of the number tower. Because Python treats things weirdly. Oh, did you see that here? Yeah, this is so. This is a MyPy maintainer. So this is almost certainly due to the number tower. Improved duck type compatibility of int with float. Yeah, so in MyPy, in MyPy, In my pie land, uh, you can have def f x float, uh, and of course you can pass floats into it, but you can also pass integers. And if you were to do, if you were to do this, uh, my pie is going to type check this, but it's going to fail at runtime. My pie is going to be like, "Yep, everything all good," and then you got to run it. Kaboom! Uh, and the reason for this is... Uh, where's... Is it not called the number tower? Numeric tower. I don't know why they call it a tower. <laughs> yeah, the numeric tower. Python 3141 defines Python's numeric tower in the standard lib module numbers implements the corresponding ABCs. There are quite some issues with these ABCs, but the built-in concrete classes complex float and are ubiquitous, especially the latter two smiley face. Oh, I hate when people do this. I hate when people do this. There should be two closed parentheses here. <laughs> this is now unclosed. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Um, but yeah, the typing pep has decided that float and int are compatible, when in reality they're not. And so that's why they're adding is integer to int, even though it is nonsense. It just always returns true. Uh, Python treats weird things weirdly. Have you not written enough PHP? <laughs> <laughs> Do I like pink the artiste? Uh, I think you I think you mean pink or pink <laughs> that pink? Sure, pink's fine. <clears throat> I'm tired of my Python Liskov subs Liskov's Liskov substitution is annoying. Yeah, my pie be my pie be real angry about Liskov's substitutability. Python, so far as the sanest high-level language I've learned, PHP and JavaScript pulls the life out of me. Yeah. You're doing the pen thing the protagonist does in anime? Fidgets? And spins? I don't actually know. <laughs> I haven't watched enough anime. To... There's a pen thing that people do in, in anime? Uh... You need me to sing a pink song. I don't know that I know any pink songs. Uh, what are their most popular songs that I would know? 
Uh, my god, there's a lot of them. <laughs> you and your hand. I actually think I know that one. <laughs> but it's a song about <laughs> go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, there's some good titles by Pink. Is Pink even pop punk? No, I think Pink is just pure pop. Although, like... I don't know. Just... So... I think pop punk is broader than... I, I think of it broader than other things. Like... I don't know, would, um, like, Sarah Bareilles, would Sarah Bareilles fit into pop punk? I don't think so. But at the same time, it's like, mm, uh, let's go! Indeed, indeed. I think, uh, um, Sarah Bareilles is pop, yeah. But, like, I think it's more, like, indie pop, or at least it started as indie pop. I don't know. Cooking, singing, coding, what this man can do more for us. Yeah. Why do you show your keyboard? Why not? Why do you type in chat? <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little too... That's a little too snippy. I don't need to be snippy. Um, oh, there's so much discussion on this, but it seems so obvious. <clears throat> Is that a button up? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> you want me to spin the pen more? Well, there's a clip. There's a clip on Twitch if you want to watch it in a loop. I've been trying to learn this new one that I'm not as good at. Um, I, I say as I get it four or five times in a row. Wolfred, thank you for the five gift subs. Welcome to Subtim. Mathos X Wazapi san, the tattoo technologist, and M. Golingiana, which I definitely mispronounced. But welcome to Subtim. There's there's your buttons, Wolfred. There's your buttons. Um Hey, we got one of the localized messages. Nice, nice. Um <laughs> Snake Timer says rely on black or rely on muscle memory for formatting. Well, I don't use black, but there are other formatters as well. Um, but I think four matters are good. Anyway, number tower. Uh, okay, let's actually work on the thing. I want to work on. It. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Which is not this. Uh, I'm gonna make a step for this. Actually, how does the I think we're gonna do a bunch of refactoring before we actually do anything too involved here. Okay, so let's try and, I'm gonna split out the language download because that is the big part of implementing what I need for this, uh, which is somewhere in here. Lang path, so all of this like language info, language path, needed language, language options, pull language, all of this I'm gonna try and move to a separate module and then write some light tests for it because I think it's completely untested right now. I think Anthony is broken. He said, let's actually work on something and he's not working anything. Shh. Shh. <laughs> it's true. <clears throat> I don't need a button count, Wolfred. Wolfred. Uh, okay, so scripts, no, runner steps, um, now the problem is all of the common variables are also used as locals in here, like I can't use languages, I can't use langs, I can't use lang, I can't use language, um, and I can't think of a different word, <laughs> um, That is another word I can use for language. Oh my God, Wilfred. <laughs> Thank you for five more gifted subs, Wilfred. To Grid Warrior, Caviera, Dinkus, Easy Light, and Nathaniel Bumpo. 
Uh, do I like alcohol? I drink beer and wine. Um, I like some rum and some vodka. I don't like gin. Uh, I do not like whiskey. Your sponsorship renewed. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Kent Me says Lang. <laughs> Is that a word? Lang. Langu. Oh. It is a noun from linguistics. A language viewed as an abstract system used by a speech community in contrast to the actual linguistic behavior of individual. Oh. Huh. Oh. says marry me. <laughs> I don't know who you are. I can't possibly do that without any context. Um <clears throat> a coder on MPP says Python, that's one of my interests. Awesome. Well welcome, welcome. Um <clears throat> She said it, yeah. <laughs> Cybergenic was betting on how long it would take. Um, so you don't like the good stuff? I mean, I... I don't know. <laughs> Chat, you're at like a 10 horny. You're going to need to turn it down to like an 8. <laughs> oh, it's language in French. Oh. The answer says, I wrote return instead of continue, and I was surprised why systemd sometimes said the program succeeded. Oh. Just call it Gwedge, <laughs> since Cathal. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> uh. Anyway. <sighs> yes. Yeah, problem with these, they're very generic to what they do. I could call it Capital Language, but that's a terrible module name. Um. How many things would I have to rename if I called it language? Actually none? Okay, we can call it language. I thought I was gonna have to rename things. All right, so I'm gonna start by moving these one at a time, which is gonna be a pain, but it'll make the the work less painful. Okay. Named supple. Uh oh, Did my internet just dropped. Are you still here, chat? Are you still there? Uh, because Firefox seems to think that you must log into this network before you can access the internet. Um, I don't see drop frames though, but no one in chat is talking, which makes me concerned. Oh no. Oh no, my internet is dead. No. No, oh, why? Uh. Are we back? Can you all see me again? Talk in chat? Say, say things in chat. That's where I'll know where things are happening. Um, hey, we're back. Chance Horny killed the stream. <laughs> My internet's been doing this the last few days. It's really annoying. Is there anything personal information on this? IP address. Oh, because it refreshes as soon as I showed it. <laughs> it says IP address issue. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're back. The weird thing is, OBS didn't say that it dropped. So I don't know what happened there. I have zero drop frames, which is the weird part. But we're back. Uh, Kent me says, hope I can follow without being thanked. All right, okay, I'm bet. <laughs> uh, Spectre, no, that's AT&T. Follow TV, hello, hello, how you doing? 
That was a tactical? No. I didn't intend to do that. Uh, okay, this should be good again, which means I can delete it from here and we could start the the um the move. The move. Other dot steps import language. And then we can do language dots. And that will be annoying, but we'll fix that when we move it over. I should be happy now. All right. So let's move these two things over, but I'm going to leave this function here because because uh, it gets used in two places, and then we'll. We'll clean it up afterwards. Ooh, this is gonna get messy. All right, this is why I didn't do this last time. Right, because I actually have to move these things first. Okay, we're not gonna do this today then. We're not gonna do that then. We are just gonna write more code in this giant file and just deal. Okay, um, make an operating system in Python or else what? Why would I do that? Anthony ran away from horny chat. Oh no. <laughs> Why do I feel like you're hating? I mean, no hate, all love. <laughs> Is it wrong to be a little interested in someone who has the ability to hack my phone? I don't have the ability to hack your phone. I I I I have no, I have no way to do that. I don't know if he can or wants to. Yeah, I I don't have a way to do that. Um, I could socially engineer, but I don't, I don't do hacker hacker. Dang, I thought Anthony was smart enough to hack phones. I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> she, bye Chaz. But you know who does know how to hack phones? <laughs> you know who does know how to hack phones, chat? My roommate does. <laughs> <clears throat> I heard we're hacking phones. Where are we hacking phones? Whose phone are we hacking today? Where's where's the phone? Where are we hacking? My God, it's gone. Is it gone? Oh, it's done that. It's done that. It's time time to hack some phones. Um. Oh shit, there's some there's some special VPN happening here. Ah, uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get into this one. It's uh it's on a a private network with very good security. We're going to have to resort to social engineering. Sorry, I'm your internet history. No. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <clears throat> God damn it, Wolfred. Taps back in immediately taps back out. <laughs> Sorry, Airbox. <laughs> Thank you for the five gift subs, Wilfred. I, I don't I don't I don't have any buttons left. I don't know what you want. <laughs> Taksu, yes and Sessica, CM Griffin, and Tom XLO, welcome to Subdom. Thank you, Wilfred. Appreciate it. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, no way I can do that. It didn't sound too sincere. Listen, I've given up on hacking because I realized how much uh, trouble I can get in for it. Because it's not, it's not worth, it's not worth even security bounties, not worth. Because uh, some companies will turn around and just like fuck you over. I don't want that. Is your roommate hotter than you? <laughs> My roommate's not real. It's just me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, special private VPN. You found the back door. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I know you keep the hat and glasses close to yours. Yeah, so last stream I was I 
was going to do the persona, I realized that my hat was underneath my uh, switch. So I moved it out from under that so that I could do the bit <laughs> at least once. <laughs> Wingfinder says, real hackerman don't use so much space. Is this a scam? Yeah, no, those were tabs. Yeah, it was, it, it was a scam. You're right. You wanted hackermans to thank you? <clears throat> I don't know. A hackerman probably doesn't... Uh... Doesn't have quite as much empathy. Uh, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I got some weird email from that Anthony saying, I want 100k because I looked at the stream for 10 hours. <laughs> no, I have not done that, Easy Light. Oh, that batch of eggs is done. Cool. You date outside your race with one follow up question. <laughs> Uh, I think chat can actually answer that for you. I think chat knows the answer for that. <clears throat> I'm doting, so when I submit my PR to Babby, you will second guess declining it. <laughs> oh no. What are you changing in Babby? I mean, I'm fine. I, I'm not gonna... Donating doesn't change whether or not I'm gonna look at PRs or not. There's some very easy ones if people want to do stuff. Um, this is... Oh, someone was working on this. Did they ever finish it? No. They start it? Do they make a PR? What happened here? Oh. What happened here? Resolve PR comments and then they close this by deleting the repository. <laughs> um. Well, anyway. If somebody wants to make a Babby PR, this one is very easy. This is literally one line. Uh, the hard part is running a test. There's a test right next to it. Um... And I think I described exactly what needs to happen here. Yeah. And this patch was very close to getting the right answer, but I think they just didn't actually run the text editor. Uh, do you know about scratch.mit.edu? I do not. Is that Scratch the programming language? Or is, what is this? Great stories, games, and animation. I have no idea what this is. Nope, don't know what it is. <clears throat> I'm not changing anything. I'm adding the tempo thing. Oh. Oh. The feature we talked about. What? Sweet. Yeah, I mean, the, the tempo thing sounds cool. <clears throat> you made a buggy operating system in it? That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. All right, so, so I've, I've scammed you with two hours of not writing code. We need to actually do some stuff, I, as I say for the 11th time this stream. Um, yeah. So let me just pull language. This takes language info and image info. Look, shiny, shiny object. Where, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Oh, wait. Oh, the bot's dead. Ah, uh, all of your, uh... <laughs> oh shit, the bot's super dead. Scammed. Okay, I need to manually insert you into the database because I feel bad for scamming you out of 251 cents. Uh but I don't remember how to do this. I think I just put you in the Vimbits disabled. Don't worry about it. No, we're gonna do it because we need to add the t the three minutes. Uh... Yeah, okay, so I should be able to do insert into Vimbits disabled values, DDELS, DDELS, oh my God. Why am I struggling at spelling your name? Dedelsp251. Okay, we gotta do it while you're not doing this, because otherwise, there we go, oh. There we go. Vim time left. Well, <laughs> it doesn't actually say it, okay. <laughs> well. 
I'm just going to trust that uh, I have put more Vimbits into there. DB not DB? Yeah, why would I name it anything else? That's exactly what it should be. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, it went from 45 to 51. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, so we need to pull the meta language always. Uh, this is the wrong file. How do we get, how do you get constructed? Oh, oh, okay. So this is a list of strings. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's how we do this. Okay. Type racer. Okay, we can, we can, fine. Easy mode or hard mode? What are we doing, Cybergenic? What are we doing? Easy mode. Okay, cool. Make sure to click join. And we'll do a few rounds of type racer. Whew. Okay, make sure to click join as, as I forget to click join. Are you going to join type racer from your phone? There was this girl I knew at my previous work that could type 90 words per minute on her phone. She was insane. The B movie. <laughs> Ready to get my ass handed to me? Yeah. That it automatically to Babby. I'm assuming you'd want a command to turn it off. I've never found a good autocomplete. So I don't know. <laughs> it's asking you to do an anti cheat. Yeah, if you get over a hundred, it'll ask you to do anti cheat. Aha! So I know that you're in Canada. <laughs> Doxed. <laughs> As if, as if. Like <laughs> as, yeah. It is kind of weird that Type Racer shows your your uh, country only for the holidays. Ah, fun, 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 fun. I was in Canada recently. I went to Toronto. Uh, these ones with punctuation are not my jam. <laughs> Ah! Ooh, pulled that one out despite having a real slow start. We'll do one more, one more, one more, one more. I think actually F can someone arrive over 100 words per minute. I can barely, I can touch type my max is over 70. 70 is way above average. Wolf, you were so close to 100. Oh no. Oh no. All right, we're going to do one more. One more. Um. I was hoping we would get to the drop song. That's why I started the playlist early, but... We haven't either haven't gone to it or it's gone. Because I thought it was in the first 50 songs around like song 60. Unless it already played and I just missed it, which would also be sad.
Oh, guest. Guest, you had such a lead. You had such a lead. From Canada, I guess this is you, Swim Mech. Good job, GG. Uh, thank you for the redeem, Cybergenic. Appreciate it. Why do I need to meet these unrealistic expectations? What, <laughs> what expectations are we talking about? <laughs> the periods? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the punctuation is what really fucks me up. Okay, I need to fill my water because I'm an hour late on doing it and it's empty. I will be right back, I promise. I will see you in a sec. Y'all are wild. What is going on in chat today? Um, anyway, I'm back. I got water. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, in order to do this, I need to... I need to retrieve the language info, which is different than the language info, which is probably a problem. Um... <clears throat> Uh, it's holiday season. We are bantering. Okay, fair. Fair. Okay. I've read no code. No. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, actually do something. Okay. That's what I keep telling myself. Yep. Yep. Uh, 
Needed clones. This is the first part of building. So put clone, load manifest, populate store. Uh, this is why I need to split this file because there's a lot of stuff going on here. I'm just going to stick it in the middle. Do clone build. Okay, so we're going to just put this here. Um. <clears throat> Uh, image meta. Hmm. I'm bored and the game hasn't started. What game is it? What game? Um. <clears throat> Advent of no code. <laughs> Advent of horny nerds. I had Bambi open for 12 hours today and I wrote nothing. Um, Magalanyana says, And then he has part of your job work in good century repos, for example, responses. Yes. Uh, but you won't see my activity on my primary account. You'll see it on Ace Tilly Century, where I am Blue Circle, where I have done. 2,000 things at Century. And none this week, lol. Um, and oops, I worked on a Sunday once. Never again. Immediate regret. Um, but yes, I do work on Century. That is my day job. <laughs> I'm not a nerd, ew. You're on Twitch.television, homie. <laughs> uh... I'm joking, please don't ban me. I'm depressed, aren't we all? Jets play the Jaguars. <laughs> I know, it's they pronounce it Jaguars. I'm being pretentious for no reason. Are we staying safe and warm during this blizzard? Hopefully, Tovufu. It has not started here. Although I haven't looked outside in a bit. I did lock my door, though. <laughs> it's apparently radiating here. Uh, so Max says, Sentry, uh, friends OA for an internship at Sentry once. Ooh, cool. Wait, it's an OA. I don't know what that is. Meat sauce. How you doing? Hello, hello. Um. <clears throat> uh. But yeah, online assessment. Oh, <laughs> so you cheated on an online test for them? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I won't tell. Don't worry. Um, uh, it starts snowing since 12 central. Oh, fun. Um, can we contribute to them? I did a PR, but then was solved by other enclosed. Yeah, you can send PRs. Uh, not always are they accepted. I would recommend joining the Sentry Discord. I think it's discord.gg slash Sentry. Yeah, I would join this Discord. There's a public channel where they talk about pull requests and stuff, so you might be able to chat with some other people and get some ideas on that. I don't handle much of the like open source PR parts of it though, so I don't I don't know too much about that. <clears throat> Basically, take home. Sometimes they monitor you. Oh, Wolfred says I've met more Sentry employees in this stream than on their own channel. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of true. <laughs> That's kind of true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we still have... We still have college Minecraft me. I still have this couch, or I guess my dad has the couch now. But the couch still exists and is accessible to me. Okay, so the image meta is not actually that useful. I think I actually want... Um, Represent things as a pre-commit language, which has a default as a stir and a, what did I call it in the JSON? That way we match it. Uh, 
Default version. Version and infder aster. And then image meta will take image ID. Uh, no, it needs. It needs image info. Image info. And this will return tuple, dictster. Dictster, well, stir and dictster three commit language. Yes, okay. Uh, let's go somewhere not so crowded. <laughs> Casting couch? <laughs> it's not, it's not a black couch. You look 14 like a literal child. I was 18, 19. That photo would have been taken in, yeah, it would have been 19 years old. Um, <clears throat> Chipotle, burrito bowl, oh. Camus iPad says, did I miss something? Do we not need init methods anymore without needing data classes? Yeah, name tuples are amazing. Name tuples are so good. Name tuples are great. Um... <laughs> so funny story about pen twirling. Uh, I don't even think about it when I do it. It just kind of happens uh, second naturedly. <laughs> In high school, uh, my chemistry teacher had to take away all of my writing utensils because I would just sit and spin and not think about it. And uh, so taking notes was always, all right, Anthony, you can have your pen. You can't spin it if you need to take notes. <laughs> Teacher was hating. There was a lot of gossip that went on. The chemistry department was super gossipy at, at uh, my high school, which um, <laughs> part of it might have been because um, I taught one of the teachers the N over 2 plus 7 rule. Um. Uh, but yeah, there's a few, there's, uh, I, I have a ton of videos about name tuple. Um, I think one of them goes over the typing name tuple. Uh, I think it's actually in this video, maybe, because I think this one might have been before typing name tuple existed. I don't know. It's one of these videos. Um, do you have recommendations for learning database design? Um, do I have recommendations for learning database design? I do not. Um, most of the time, I'm just fitting the design to the actual data model. Uh, but of course, there's like specific stuff in um. Like if you're doing a relational store versus a key value store, I, and like <laughs> pre-commit CI is a good example of a key value store where I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Um, but it works, so it's good enough. Um, <clears throat> the what rule? The yeah, age over two plus seven for dating, also known as the uh, the pedophile rule, where you divide your age by two and add seven, and that's supposed to be the Somewhat acceptable lower bound for dating. Have you never heard of this, Wilfred? What's a name tuple? It's a way to make a class that is actually a tuple but has attributes as names. You've never heard of that rule? Junior T says, how old are you? Uh, you have to guess my age first and then I will tell you. Um. <clears throat> Cybergenics says I can date an 18 year old. So you're 22. Why do people make these rules? <laughs> it's pretty common in the US. Yeah. I think I'm 28. Okay, I'm actually 31. 
Gamer's Life Band says, Data Warehouse Toolcup by Kimball, Designing Data Intensive Applications. Oh. How the fuck did you calculate it as 22 so quickly? I am good with numbers. Okay, so we need to figure out whether this language exists already. Uh, unfortunately, that's kind of bottled up in this function here. And this stuff here. Uh, maybe I should make a insured language. Because that layer is always supposed to be tiny, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I can pull timeout. 60 seconds? We get 60 seconds to pull that? I'm 27, let's get married. <laughs> Math checks out. I don't do lice though. The oh, fuck? I've never had lice. What, what are you even asking? Do you round up or down asking for a friend? <laughs> In the N over 2 plus 7? <laughs> Being good with numbers feels so normal to me, but when I do some semi-complex math in my head, my girlfriend's mind explodes, and I remember not everyone is. Yeah, yeah. If you have to ask, you need to call the cops on yourself, says morning sci-fi. <laughs> I'll see, um... Uh... The, there's, there's an alternative to the N over 2 plus 7, which is the, uh... <laughs> the um the conservative equation where the minimum is 13 and you just that's the constant return value <laughs> um but <laughs> tell us regret <laughs> Why am I getting blocked? I'm not the one that's, you know, I'm not the libertarians advocating for fucking literal children. I'm not advocating that. <clears throat> I'm the one who said it? Sure, okay. I made the joke. Gorin, hello, hello. If I was 12 eight years ago, mine is two years old. How old am I? Where am I subtracting two from? But you would still be 18, but either way. <sighs> Isn't that rule sort of a paradox though? What do you mean? What if you're 10 years old? Well, I think it starts sort of at age of consent, hopefully. <clears throat> this conversation is crazy. <laughs> okay, it started because um I told one of the uh I told one of the um one of the two chemistry teachers about this rule. And then like a week later, the other chemistry smugly walks up to the board and writes N over two plus seven and is like, How many of you know what this is? Um <laughs> <clears throat> Tell us about image meta method. Right. So the first thing that it needs to do is um, pull the image. Uh, and I kind of want to do it with the same timeout, but uh, I've not really factored this into. It should be trivial, it should take seconds. But I need to make sure that's in the actual time budget. Because uh, right now what we do is we increase the time out here. So I think I'm just going to add a little bit of extra time to somewhere. Oh, actually, maybe it's just in the overall budget. Maybe I don't need to do anything here. I think it just assumes it happens instantly. Just fine. 
Yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> Come lay your head on my belly and tell me I smell like vanilla. <laughs> A new sentence right there. <laughs> I love how the conversation started from chemistry class. Yeah. <clears throat> what happened during the audit? Everyone is talking about weird stuff, right? Uh, well, you explained why C++ is better than Python. But I'm not writing C++. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know that I would say that C++ is better than Python. They're just different. Um, okay, anyway, so we need to pull language. And pull language has like a big timeout, but I think we're actually going to set a smaller timeout, but I don't think this is reentrant. Hmm. So I am going to give it a configurable timeout. Maybe we just say it's 60 seconds. And maybe we add a new step. Yeah, okay, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, we'll add a new step. <clears throat> because we don't actually want to include this in the language info. Okay, that's what we'll do. Um, lang equals Let's run file worker. Uh, try to make a decision for you. Some of my work is calling me, and it's eight p.m. Should I call them back? Absolutely not. <laughs> Easy, no. Hey, Shani, how you doing? Good to see you again. I assume this means that you have made the drive home safely. <clears throat> I like how everyone says no. Oh, Shani says yes. <laughs> For the company. <clears throat> Shani in chat, Pog. True, true, true. What if their cat is stuck in the sewer? I don't know that they would need help with that. <clears throat> Drive home went fine. It's snowing pretty heavily now, though. I wonder if it's snowing here. Nope. It's, it's just raining here. This is raining here. Just rain. Just my boss? Oh, then absolutely not. <laughs> Bitch, you can use the pager if you need me at 8 p.m. I'm not replying. <laughs> that can wait till the new year. Yeah, 100%. Um, we don't have a pager? Mm. Hmm. Well, then that just means you're inaccessible outside of work hours, which is 8 out of 8 perfect. Okay, uh, so we need to add a new step. After the pull image. Um, maybe I just, uh, maybe I just follow this same pattern here. Okay, because I essentially want to do give me part of this step. Our code freeze just started. I'm looking forward to getting nothing done. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, I don't know how much snow snow I'm supposed to get. I'm supposed to get, I think, like two to four inches. Two to five feet. Holy shit. God damn. Victor Vicky. Hello, hello. How you doing? Uh, Cyberdynamics says, been watching Anthony since the start of my undergrad, and now I'm about to finish. Feels kind of nuts. 
It has been a while, Cyrogen. It has been a fucking long ass time. Shit. Wilfred says, I'm so mad. They say the game starts at 7 p.m. And I'm getting a Trevor Lawrence documentary. <laughs> Uncle Ken, hello, hello, how you doing? Hey, look at the bot. Look at the bot doing its job. Look at the bot knowing how to AI answer your question. No sorry inches, my brain's empty. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> Two to five feet. <laughs> Oof. says, I cleaned up all of so pseudo shedding on my first floor today. Probably could have made an entire second pseudo with all the shed hair. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Two to five inches, that's... <laughs> mm. Be a, a little unfortunate. <clears throat> okay. I think the language is... This, yeah. Hmm. Uncash callback is callable nothing none. Uh, lang info. I think this is meta. Is there lang path? Uh, That's what I have to do. Wawa Zeno says, oh, you also got answered by the bot. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Getting 10 inches over the weekend here in Canada? Whoa. <laughs> Everyone bonked. <laughs> uh, I have extreme summer performance tires on my car. Currently driving in 20 degree temps with possible ice. Oh, that is going to be a mess. Are you driving driving on stickies? Victor Vicky says, Oracle's so generous. They are. Cybergenics says, you'll be proud to know that as a subject of the Ace Tilly streams and YouTube channel, I've done quite well in terms of internships and job offers. Nice, nice. There are a few videos where um, I, have, I have mentioned you. It's true. Is anyone here from the Caribbean? I don't know. Um, my mentor slash manager at Yelp uh was from the Caribbean and they were stereotypically really good at steel drums which was kind of cool you even bonked yourself it's true it's true it's true <laughs> change uh okay meta equals image meets uh image info we have above um <clears throat> Uh, meta info wee 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 set visibility time to queue receipt and then I actually want to compute this up above as well. Bang. Full max. <clears throat> okay. So this is actually local TGZ and pre-commit languages, which makes this spill onto the next line. Uh, 
Playing info, image info. Uh, Turn close lang equals lang cached. Well, you just do this one. Lang os the path that is der lang path lang image. Oh, image info. Right. One, two, three. Yeah. And then I can just do. The lang info dot make lang for lang languages and then make this cool. <clears throat> Is anyone from Brazil? We usually get a lot of people from Brazil in stream. Um <clears throat> I have a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S on my car currently. Love these tires, but they're not great in anything but dry. <laughs> yeah. Steel drums are so much fun. I had an entire steel drum band class my senior year of high school. Oh. <laughs> are you the chat police? Yeah. Do you see this sword next to Shaz's name? Uh, I was featured in a video when I think you were in one, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes when people ask questions in chat, they end up in the YouTube videos. So when it says, let's fucking go, I will brag now. The investigation group where I have my internship has merged my feature. Yo, sweet. That's cool. Uh, let me make sure this is safe to show on stream first. Oh. Cool, cool. Better decide which phylum suits your need by selecting a set of species. Ah. Oh, this looks cool. Nice. Good, good to hear. Oh, I'm logged into the wrong account. Oh well, it's fine. Um. <clears throat> uh oh. Ginger, you gotta, you gotta be honest though. <laughs> the point of the chat isn't to just be super horny. Where's Marsha? Yeah, we need some, we need some alternative horny energy in in chat. Um. <clears throat> You're fine, but we, we, let's, let's, let's try and make it a space for everybody. Uh, meat sauce, it's my birthday today. When's yours? I feel like this is a, uh, I feel like you're fishing for knowing my information here. It's pretty easy to find out my birthday, though. Uh, Victor says, can you provide an insight on how to host a Python socket server? I manually pull the Python file and check if it's working. It's all fine. Screen Python 3 server. <laughs> That'll work. I use Tmux to do the same thing. It's not great. Um, it won't restart it if it fails. But you could use, like, systemd. Where's Marja? Uh, she was sleepy, so she went to lay down. Um, yeah. Anthony's birthday is February 30th. Yeah. Today is his birthday. Damn, Tofufu, I, I thought you might not remember. What's the street your mother grew up on? Just curious. Yeah. Victor J says, I just learned System D. It's easy enough and does what you need for most opponent cases. Yeah, System D is pretty nice at that. Unless you're on Gen 2 and then, uh, good luck, have fun. You always remember. Of course you do, Tofufu. Of course you do. Happy birthday to me. It's just really unfortunate that my birthday is so close to Christmas because, you know, then then they, you know, you only get presents once, so you just kind of lump the Christmas and and uh, birthday presents into into the same. I remember you talking about writing a program to let your dog out. Can't remember your dog's name. Uh, can you jog my memory? Uh, so I had several, oh, <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. I see what you're trying to do, you know? 
<laughs> you're trying to get my <laughs> you're trying to get my security questions here I'll, I'll show you what my security answers usually are though oh i don't have my password manager unlocked damn um usually my security answers look like this which is fucking hilarious when um when i'm on the phone and they're like all right please tell me the name of the street that you grew up on and i'm like okay well are you ready for this? I'll start reading it out. P nine H Q seven two four and it's it's um not that great because a lot of phone operators will be like, oh well uh yeah that looks good and just cut me off before reading the rest of it. But um yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> CD Concern Doge. Oops. <laughs> That's funny. Is that is that what CD Tab C gives you or C Tab? <laughs> uh, I tried to CD code. That's so good. <laughs> but um Okay. Uh Okay. Image meta, we have pull language, and now we need to pull the actual information out of it. Um, do I have enough to actually try and run this? Let's just make a little t.py. Runner step stalker image. <clears throat> do image pulls, probably not that. Uh, pull image stir uncache callback. Okay, so do docker uh, image dot pull ghcr dot io slash pregnant ci render image latest. Uh, we don't care about the callback. And then run dot meta info. Oh, it just takes image info? Assertion error. Right. Good thing past me knew that I would make that mistake. Unknown user PC runner. Oh, I haven't set up the uh, PC runner user on this. Hmm. Can I run this? Include runner. I think I can do this. Uh, well, I think I might need this. Yeah, I need that too. Make sure that those aren't problems. Oh man, why are you getting around the... The chat bands, Victor Vicky, what are you doing? <clears throat> I found out that function name makes it protected in Python. It doesn't. It doesn't do that, Wilfred. Uh, underscore naming doesn't do anything. Yeah, underscore does nothing. Double underscore, though. Um, uh, where's the actual video? God damn it. What is the underscore for? Naming and underscores. Underscores. 
Uh, where's the other? Double undernames are not more private is the other one. Watch those two videos. This song is kind of loud. A little bit. It's fine. I'll just leave it to it. There are like seven blogs that lie to me. Yeah, there's a lot of bad content on the internet. Uh, okay, everything else is good. So the neat thing is they have this new Netlify preview. So I can actually find... <laughs> Keep this under your pillow. Concern. Uh, what am I looking for? Collections. And then Kui Wu Wu. Or deck, not Kui Wu Wu. Hey, look, now. Oh, that's fucked up. How did I fuck that up? I wrote it correctly. It just rendered incorrectly. Weird. Whatever. Not my problem. <clears throat> Number 23, nice, nice. Okay, PC user the PP. Uh, um, I think I'm gonna turn on this part. Oh god, it's already started. Too late to control C now. Yeah, Marsha is never going to be passed ever. Uh bad password, and it should just do help, right? Okay. Uh I think it's dash dash nope. You know she types is crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Let find resource packages package podman. Uh, uh Mila, hello, hello. How you doing? Tips one seventy, yeah. My God, where are you now? Mm -hmm, pod man. Just want to set up those users so that I can run this silly script. <laughs> <clears throat> A lot of you're a top top one twenty five. Look at that. Okay, so it would make the user add suitors, make that user add their home directory, make podman config. Looks fine. Uh, Aaron Nur, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. So now I should be able to run this. Oh God. Oh, so I do need lingering. Okay, I thought there might've been a reason for that. Mission denied.
Oh, because it's trying to run from directory. But now I can uh, do this at least. Next technique. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How you doing? My name is Anthony. I usually work on open source. Ah, you were too fast for me, DDoS. This is the last pass news. What a mess. Yeah. I usually work on open source Python software. I maintain talks, pre-commit, PyTest, placate, dead snakes, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Today we're working on pre-commit CI. I am trying to rework how it does builds to make it two seconds faster for every run. Well, a second and change faster for every run. Um, but yeah, welcome, welcome. Featured S strings. Where, where, where did you see that? Other than me showing that it's too many people download it. <laughs> Why are you talking about future S string? Oh, that's one of the things I maintain. Yeah. Actually, technically, I don't maintain it anymore because I've archived it. Um... Runner, steps, docker, image. Okay, so there's a sub process in here. So this should technically be run with CWD of slash. It doesn't actually matter, so I'm going to temporarily do this just so that we can bug stuff. Uh, now is it failing doing? There we go. Is there any preprocessor for Python? Uh, Python lets you do whatever the fuck you want. So while there is not a intended preprocessor for Python, you can make one, which is how future F strings works. Uh, it is my own custom preprocessor. <clears throat> What's happening? Oh. It is pulling Podman. Oh, it's called Image Matter. But anything of the merch recommendations? I haven't had time to look at them yet, um, but I was hopefully going to do this. That future F-strings package is cool. Wish it was maintained and work with 310 though. We <laughs> Tommy, why? <laughs> why are you trolling? <laughs> it works fine with 310, but you don't need it because F-strings are already there. The Bunyonic says, can you pair the typing, compare the typing module with TypeScript? I have a JS background, so I'm wondering about typing in Python. Uh, typing in Python is kind of like TypeScript, but like the very early days of TypeScript where the, the whole the type system was not well defined. There's a lot of stuff missing in Python typing and a lot of stuff that's unrepresentable. Uh, TypeScript also has a very powerful uh, generics engine, which is Turing complete, and Python doesn't really have a generics engine at all. I mean, it has generics, but it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a way to I can't think of the right word. It doesn't have a way to pump the generic engine. <laughs> it's not the right word, but kind of sort of captures what I'm trying to say. Uh, I should just default that. Pro oh, Nick, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Wah, 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 wah. Didn't run this. The weekly download says otherwise. Yeah. 
I was impressed by TypeScript's type system. Yeah, there's like a whole, um, there's a whole group of people that try and like min max the TypeScript type system because uh, it is so powerful. Okay. Sweet. Okay, that's good. I hate TypeScript for the same reason I don't like JavaScript. Yeah, that's kind of fair, I guess. TI SQL? Oh my god, here we go. A SQL database implemented purely in TypeScript type annotations. Oh my god. Holy shit. That is kind of fucking nuts. God damn. <laughs> this is one of those cases where someone says why and someone else says why the fuck not? Is there a practical reason for doing this? Well, boy, what do you think? I think this meme is the best answer. We're not going to click on mine gag. And then someone else advertising their thing. What is code mix? Oh. Huh. Interesting. <sighs> yeah. It's like when people ask me why I do AOC in SQLite. Why the fuck not? I do what I want. <laughs> tell me not. Or you can't tell me no. I mean, you could tell me no. Uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. All right, so we have this. Um... With open uh, lang path equals lang path lang dot lang image info. Uh, so path dot join lang path info dot json. Uh, info equals json dot load f. Uh, Recommit languages equals re uh, name. What? Filiora. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you're doing well. Recommit language uh, default version. Oh, well, you just use KV. Oh, actually, we're going to just use Splat. Uh, which will be a problem if I ever change this, but I don't know that I will. Then I should be able to do return local TGZ, recommit languages. Uh, 
Assertion there. Did I not call it local.tgz? Empty.tgz. Local would have been a better name. <clears throat> Especially because I call it local TGC everywhere else. I am petty enough to change it. Oh, but then we have to wait. No, we are going for purity. I don't give a shit how long I have to wait. Oh. Eggs are done. Let's reorganize our boxes. Uh, L and B Y and A A. Wrong button. One, two, three, four, five, six ish boxes. This is way slower than doing with the controller. <laughs> oh, especially when I fuck it up. <laughs> Oops. The interesting thing that I've noticed about playing the game with the keyboard is when you play the game in real life, you make tiny adjustments to everything you do all the time. Uh, and the computer does not have that opportunity. And you don't really think about it that much either. One, two, God. No, 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 no. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six boxes. Okay. And uh, there's no way it's gonna make it successfully through all six, but we're gonna kick it off anyway. Um. Mm -hmm. Rename empty.tgz to local.tgz better bat match backend. The virus still called empty tgz. Good call. Good call. Thank you, the on the server. I wish JavaScript had an actual standard library. It has some. Well, Node does. Node has some. Standard robot. Hello, hello. Why are there two package managers in Oracle Linux, Yum and DNF? Uh, DNF is the new one, Yum is the old one. It's the same reason that unlike Debian, there's dpackage and apt. They're kind of similar in the relationship. But yeah. That is the reason. So I'm gonna fudge this on my machine. Uh, cache, recommit CI. 
Lang meta. We're gonna move empty.tg to local. <laughs> that way I don't have to wait. Default version, default, 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 default system. Default, default, Python 3, Python 3, default system. And Rust says default right now. But if I were to use the latest pre-commit, it would not do that. Okay, that is working. I could write a quick test for this function. Um. Yeah, with the assumption that I will split it out eventually. Uh, I'm kind of hungry though. Uh, I've only been streaming for three hours. Mm. There's left for compatibility reasons and apparently most recent versions are just a soft link to DNF anyway. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Um, what should we do, chat? <laughs> I'm hungry. Should I continue? <laughs> or should, uh, I go eat food? And we'll work on this tomorrow. Kind of on a roll, though. But I'm also... Should I order food? What should I do? <clears throat> I like how Cybergenic in Discord says, petition for Anthony, just go along with what Ginger says until he's literally at the altar. It's good content. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Order food and do a food stream. Cook for yourself and eat it. I do have a meal that I should make. Or that before the end of the week. Uh, but I could order food. Mm. Mm, I don't know. Uh, eat in front of the computer, we get food too, then we eat together. Okay, let me see what I could order. Let me see what I've ordered. I mean, I basically just order Indian food online. <laughs> Indian food's kind of messy though. I can order something less messy. Pizza. Oh, I haven't had pizza in forever. Is it a bad idea to order pizza in the middle of a So bad yet. Python mukbang so hipster. <laughs> Is it though? Tip well if the roads are shit? I mean, I tip well anyway, so it's not different. Um... Uh, I'm kind of thinking pizza. Delivery until 4 a.m. God damn. Um, <clears throat> kids gonna be trying to make money anyway. I mean, yeah. Oh, I should not type my address while well, you can see my keyboard. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> uh. I should also probably not do it while unmuted, too. <clears throat> I didn't catch the credit card number. Can you type it again? Yeah, I might have to type that soon, too. 
this website. Oh, we're gonna get a shake. What is the difference between a shake and a malt? A malt or a malted shake is a milkshake made with the addition of malted milk powder. It gives the shake a bit of a toasty, rich flavor that enhances classic milkshake flavors like chocolate or vanilla. A malt has malt in it? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Hunter Costa says, it's 1 a.m. Out of curiosity, just checked what I could get delivered. Nothing is the answer. Oh, no. If you don't know malted, you might want to shake. Yeah, I'm just probably just going to get a shake. 32 ounces is an option? That's fucking huge. I don't need that. Peanut butter. Fuck yeah, let's go. Uh, why is there breakfast food at a pizza place? I just want a fucking pizza. Holy shit, this is complicated. Who's a menu? Pizza. <laughs> Where's the fucking pizza? <laughs> ah, I found the pizza. Oh. Okay. Toppings are required. What if I don't want, what if I just want cheese? Flavored crust is required too. Uh, toppings on whole pizza. Plain cheese, yeah, sure, spend it. I don't feel like I need anything else special right now. Uh, they didn't ask me for sauce level, because I kind of want extra sauce. Is that a thing I can do? Sauce, no sauce. They have two required boxes, and one of them is slightly green, and one of them is slightly blue. Weird. It's 4.20 a.m. here? God damn. What's an ounce? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, cursed, cursed units. Pythonic Pie, thank you for the resub at 25 months. Holy shit. How you doing? Good to see you again. Um, and thank you for your continued support. Okay, we need to mute up again for this one. All right, pizza is a, is is on its way, in theory. Um, cool. All right, we'll we'll continue to write the cards. Pizza and a shake, hell yeah! Savage banana soup. Thank you for the sub with Prime. Appreciate it. Welcome to sub -tip. It's the fucking drop song. Let's go. Is the hairy chest against Twitch terms of service? No, it's fine. It's been a while, chat. It's been a while. The more cheese, the better the pizza. Kind of true. You could have too much cheese, though. If you're just eating a block of cheese. <clears throat> okay. This is good. Uh... So now, 
What do we need to do? Reverse cheese sandwich? Like cheese on top, bread in the middle, cheese on the bottom? How would that work? Victor Vicky says, I have Amazon Prime, but due to the Indian version stuff, we don't have Prime. Oh no! You don't have Prime subs? <laughs> That's unfortunate. Um, okay, so the first step we need to figure out is needed clones. Oh, we were going to write a test. Yeah, we were going to write a test. We were going to write a test. Okay. We don't need this patch anymore either. Uh, I'm going to assume that I'm going to factor this into a steps later. So we're going to put it in test steps, even though it doesn't exist yet. Uh, okay, that was the drop song chat. It still exists. Praise the song. Um, <clears throat> Preox, hello, hello. How you doing? Okay, so the unfortunate thing is there's a lot of side effects to image meta. Like, this depends on file system state. This does network calls. Maybe we don't write test. <laughs> Maybe we skip test. <laughs> we skip test. I tried, what are we coding? Uh, we are refactoring part of Pigment CI so that, uh, for three reasons. So that I can move JavaScript to a lazily loaded language so that I can um, upgrade pre-commit to, well, I can release pre-commit at the latest version, which makes Rust a defaulted language. Uh, and then I can speed up all the runs by about two seconds. So we're doing all three of those things. The first one is this here. Oh, interesting. Interesting, the local TGC needs to actually be a get repo. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, we need to do that then. We need to make a deterministic git commit. I don't know how that's gonna work. Okay, beyond that, it's pretty easy. It's just repo rev which we can pull out of uh, YAML without needing this file. Ugh. Okay, I need to fill my water. I'm gonna do that real quick and then we will, we will fix this <laughs> inside the image. Um, oh, this already merged, okay, cool. So I'll do that, I'll be right back. I will see you in a sec. Oh, the code broke. It never got the map position. That sucks. Hold on, let me, sorry. We're gonna fix this first. Um, I think I need to move a little bit closer over here. We're pressing B.
<laughs> yeah, slowly scoot over there. <sighs> Let me make sure this succeeds first. This game is so buggy. This game is so buggy. This isn't even my bug. This is the game being shit. Come on, just nudge it a little bit. There we go. That should fix it? Really? The nudge didn't work? Game sucks. There we go. Now it's working. Okay. Just needed a little help. All right, I'll be right back, like I said. Hello, I'm back. Okay, let's uh, let's build this Git repo. Oh, annoying. Um... Hmm. I need to actually make a directory. Copy all that stuff into there. And then... <sighs> oh, man. <sighs> uh... This is annoying. Then I need to do the same walk. Oh, gross. Okay, well, not the worst, I guess. With temp file dot temporary directory. 
Uh, tempter. Oh, it's gonna have the wrong permissions. Maybe that's fine. Because tempter starts with six zero zero or seven zero zero. Oh, does it inherit those though? Make temp dash D. Does not, okay. Spider Dude says to use terminal tests for simulating buffers in your text editor. Uh, my text editor sports buffers. I just don't use them. I prefer terminal tests. So like if we do Babby and then open to do. Um, oh, that was save to do. Uh, control P to do. Yeah, so now I can switch between buffers. So it does support this, uh, I just don't use it. I like I like to think in terminal tabs, so I continue to do that. For F name in OS dot list resources der. Bro, you still use get that so 2008. We moved on to the Cobalion stack. Yeah. <laughs> really? You're still using Cobalion? You're not using Terrakion? I heard that Landry's T is like the best VCS ever. It really just intimidates all the other VCSs. This is such a stupid joke. <laughs> <laughs> Makes great with the Ralts JS front end. Um Okay. Let's see Templar and dot. So now we need to somehow make a a deterministic git commit. The keyboard is smooth and silent. Let's switch are those. It's actually not silent, it's my microphone doesn't pick it up. So if we uh, do this, for instance. So you know what's crazy? Um, I have one of my old YouTube videos got claimed for keyboard sounds. Because <laughs> uh, my old microphone would pick up the whole room. 
And somehow my keyboard sounds matched some other video. Octavius, thank you for the resub at 22 months. It's good to see you again. Hopefully you're doing well. Tuned in just in time for some ASMR, indeed, indeed. I don't know, man. I don't think you're allowed to make keyboard sound content after moving away from the Bay Area. <laughs> All right. Sounds like linear reds. These are cherry clears. They're clears. Cherry clears are the best key swords. Fight me. I love cherry clears. They're so good. Sony copyright? It wasn't Sony. It was some, like, random... It was some random, like, keyboard channel um, that... I, I disputed the claim. This is the... I think it's the only claim that I disputed. Um, all the other ones were definitely correct. <laughs> well, maybe not the um, Evanescence one. <sighs> that one. That one was unfair. I should not have gotten claimed for singing Evanescence, although melody copyrights are a thing. So I kind of get it, but um, but yeah, they had like uploaded sample keyboard sounds, and I think I think it was automatic, so it wasn't really their fault. But okay, so I think there's git commit something. There's um there's like dates on this. Override the author date. So there's author date, and there's surely committer date as well. Git author date and git committer date. Unix timestamp. Does that mean I can do zero? And command allow empty. Uh, get author date equals zero. Get committer date equals zero. What about one? What about 2022-01-01? Zero 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 plus zero zero. I probably don't even need the plus, right? Twenty twenty two oh one oh one. I know you can't see this because it's behind the screen. Zero 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 zero. zero. Oh, I need to put timestamp offsets. Can I just put a Z. Yes, I can. Uh, the linked issue got opened and closed four times. Wait, which which issue? <clears throat> Fifth dash C tempter commits. Uh, dash M commits. M equals gets author name. Um <clears throat> Oh, the type shed one, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 this is still a problem. It's still not fixed. Any issue PR with four digits makes me want to cry or try? Wait until you get... <laughs> I think Stripe got to six or seven digits on issues. I think it just ticked over before I left. Which is pretty wild. Where's that walk that we saw before? It is. Works equals name getter. Oh, we have to add the directories and the file names. That's kind of annoying. Uh, but we're not going to have a root, so that's fine. Works equals empty list for root ders file names. Start walk tempter. <clears throat> How would I implement a Java LSP into Babby? 
I don't know. And has no LSP support at the moment. This feels wrong. <laughs> I don't think this is right. <laughs> but we're going to try it anyway. Oh, we joined down here. Okay, I was going to say. Uh, arcs dot n. Oh, stop path that realm path. Tempter uh, abs path. Tempter. I can never remember the order of arguments to this. Like never, ever, ever. <sighs> so I'm glad past me did it for me. I think I knew this is a list comprehension. No, that's over overkill. I don't need to do that. Okay, so then do this. Oh no. Bandas just broke 50k. NumPay is about half that. Oof. The only point in Arriba's growth that you cut history? Um, I think the bigger th reason to cut the history is uh, Repo's size rather than history length. And it's usually not a good idea to remove history because then you lose context on things. But. There's been, I don't know, I think the, the one repo I've worked on that absolutely needed a history prune was at Yelp. Oh, actually, all the Stripe repos needed history prune too. It did really dumb shit there. So <laughs> let me tell you about a fun, a fun policy that was added to <laughs> Stripe. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Um, Stripe had a policy against large files in the code base, which fine, yeah, you know, don't check in a file. Over a megabyte. Uh, and, you know, when you hit the error for checking in a file for over a megabyte, you should probably think to yourself, huh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be checking in large chunks of binary into code. But instead, the reasoning for not checking in large files was lost over time. And in fact, the official Stripe documentation, instead of saying, rethink and redesign what you're doing to not require large files to be checked into Git. Instead of doing that, no, no, no. What it did instead is it told you to take um, the Unix utility split. Uh, and if you don't know what split does, it takes a file and splits it into chunks by size. And so it told you to instead take your file and split it into one megabyte minus one byte chunks and check in all of the chunks and then at runtime, stitch those chunks together. <sighs> and I had to sit down with the head of version control and be like, you realize this doesn't actually fix the problem. It just makes it actually worse because now you have more big blobs inside your repo rather than fewer or no big blobs in your repo. Ah, oh, but some truly psychopathic shit when I found, why are there a bunch of files called XAA through XAZ inside this repo? Oh, because they're the output of split. 
<laughs> Why do one big blob when many smaller big blobs do just fine? Yeah. <laughs> but it was also like, why are they suspiciously 1,023 kilobytes? What, what, why, why, why 1,023? And then I knew. And then I knew what the fuck was going on. And I was sad. But I can't fix everything. Um... Oh, we should add cues to that. Uh, Zungulu Trungu. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. This needs QQ. QQ! I think this also might need QQ also. Yes. And if I remember correctly, one of these does not let you QQ. Oh, that's not the right QQ. Q, Q, Q. All right. Moment of truth. Uh, what, what? Local.pgz. 2CA. Oh, we should also tar dash dash list. Um, oh, we should... Uh, we should do template equals to make it smaller. And should I GC? Can I make it smaller? Well, we gotta QQ that also. I think we don't need QQ. I think single Q will work. Oh, but the line is too long. Get in it. Mm, tar list F. Oh look, nice and repacked. I don't know why that's there. Uh, but let's see if this is Jonas Dick. Your YouTube videos are amazing, thanks, appreciate it. <clears throat> that's how you implanted the virus on a stripe? I didn't implant any virus on stripe. We learned how to prune history. Got this one repo that someone tossed a few hundred megabytes in the repo years ago. So slow to download. Yeah, well, you'd have to rewrite all the history and then sadness. Was that guy an idiot? <laughs> I think they didn't understand why the pro the policy was in place in the first place. But we can call them an idiot. Savage Banana Soup says bedtime. Well, thank you for stopping by. Someone proudly posted on Twitter that they deployed their Twitter bot on GitHub Actions. Are these the new crypto miners? Yeah. Wait, how would they do that? Unless they're just like periodically running something, which seems fine. But if they're doing like long running, that seems not good. Um, are we running wrapper on top of Git? No. Uh, we're going to pregament and pregament CI. Uh, what takes longer, creating your thumbnails or creating the videos? Some of the videos are shorter than the thumbnail time. Run long running jobs as a 30 minute cron. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Definitely violates the terms of service. 
Rax, you got 25k points. Nice. Uh, plus, 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 plus. Fuck. No. No. What's different? Oh. Oh, wait, no. Return attempts 9999. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Why? Why? Okay, now we have to figure out what's different in the two. Um. Binary files differ, yeah. Okay, we know that. If entire lists wet wet local at TGZ. Our list wet wet to local at TGZ. The file lists that are different? The file lists are identical. Okay. That's good, I guess. Mm. Oh, the index differs. Um. Why though? You just have different properties like create date? No, it's literally just this blob. Everything else is normalized. Code didn't work because you don't have a programming chair. I do have a programming chair. This is my programming chair. I have two of them, actually. I have a gray one and a blue one. Um, hungry and my pizza's not here yet. Oh, and uh, my PR was said was closed. Uh, uh, it's present on quite a lot of the other docs. But why not these? I'm not going to find my stupid grit from before. I don't even know why I'm bothering to defend this stupid change. I don't give a shit. I think positional arguments are stupid. Um... Um... <clears throat> I don't even need that.
Annoying. Wait, what is Henninger talking about? Henninger just doesn't like any changes to any of the files that he owns. This is just this is just how he deals. Um I get it. I understand. But my core devs fucking suck. But did you really order delivery when the weather is withering out? It's just raining here. It's not not uh not doing anything worse. Is that the Python interpreter you? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> This one is wild. It's positional only and named only. Activate stack trampoline. Yeah, like the entire OS module has been updated. That's way more popular than collections. Whatever, I don't give a shit. Don't give a shit, fuck them. I want to be a core dev just to reject all PRs. I mean, you'd fit right in. Basically what it is. All right. Uh, get deterministic index packing. I'm never going to find someone else that's trying to do what I'm doing. Probably. This is not determined. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to program yeah, programmatically create identical get repos. Yeah. One of my friends got a PR the other day to add a Toml file for packaging configuration. It's a pure Fortran repo. Ah, <laughs> uh, did did someone did someone con try and condo your repo? Uh maybe it'll be in the get GC docs? I wonder if I remove the GC setting, if I remove GC entirely. It's on by default. Aggressive is fine. Re 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 resolved. Uh, deterministic Git repo. Uh, 
I don't know what this helps me with. Explains me as if I'm a four-year-old. Uh, I want to run a process and have it spit out an output, and then I want to run the process again and have it spit out exactly the same output. Not an equivalent output, but exactly the same output. Uh, do you think I'll get better at watching co coding, watching other people code? Not necessarily. Build projects, that's how you learn, is what I recommend. Do you think if I set source state epoch, it'll just work? My guess is that no, given uh, it does not read it here. I'm gonna find how to do this. Let me see if I remove the GC call, if that makes it deterministic. I don't think it does, but. Yeah, it doesn't work. <gasps> okay, oh, pizza's here. I'll be right back, chat.
Hello, I back. I have food. Um So we're gonna Look at the pizza. Mmm. Oh my god, so much chat since I was gone. Um <clears throat> I'm gonna build a project now. Cool. Uh, without questions question says anthony ain't writing code right now i know it's true i'm gonna be eating some food i'm gonna eat some food um i'm even going to fork and knife this because it's a mess um sorry it took so long i was putting away the other half of the pizza into the regenerator so i'm not tempted to eat the whole thing in one sitting which i totally would but <laughs> Maybe not the best strategy. I do this. Pretty good. And I have my shake. What pizza is it? It is a Sicilian square with just cheese. Um. Yeah, I was hoping it would be more of a Detroit square, but this is fine. That's still good. It has sesame seeds on the bottom, which is different. Anthony eats pizza, yep. I am not writing code. It has a lot of cheese on it, though. <laughs> like, a ridiculous amount of cheese. I didn't even ask for extra. But not too much cheese, so it's fine. <clears throat> hey, what's up without questions, questions? How you doing? I am back. Indeed, with pizza. But I'm also still not writing code. I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Um... Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Yeah, git commit hashes are deterministic. I've done, I've gotten this far so far, but the pack file is not. I don't like the crust. No, I'm saving it for the last because I like it the most. Um, I I like crunchy things, so I saving the crust. The sir, the city deserves nothing good, but it has the best style of pizza. I like Chicago style. Pizza. Yeah, question, the crust is really good. Describe the taste. I mean, it's Vayner pizza. I have put um, red pepper and oregano on top. Uh, Mares Duardo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. What project am I working on? I'm working on Pregamit CI. I'm trying to make a deterministic Git repo at the moment and not doing so hot on it. <clears throat> Mares Duardo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. You could TGC everything but the index file. Would that even matter? I, the only case that it matters for is Go. Um. Oh, yeah. I bet I could just leave it uncommitted. Then I wouldn't even need the index file. That might work. Yeah, I wonder if I can skip making a commit. And just like intend to add everything. It might work. I would need to double check with how Go works. But yeah, that is an idea. I think that might work. And then I wouldn't have to worry about the actual index. The problem is the index is the repo. So if I do actually need to like clone it or interact with any of the revisions, I need to have the index. But if I don't need to do that, then I don't need to do that. 
Anonymous has gifted a sub to GitHash. Thank you, Anonymous. I don't have any buttons left, or you'd get one more. <laughs> Ignore the problem child? Yeah. Aren't good objects ordered? So the commit that I make is deterministic. That's already working, I think. Well, I didn't actually check. I should probably check that. Yeah, so the commits are already identical. It's just that gets packing is not deterministic. Which is annoying. I bet there's some like fucking date stamp in there. Which maybe I'll look at the get source code and see if they support that deterministic build epoch thing. Because if they support that, then we can just use that. And maybe that's the problem. I don't know though. These plumbing commands I haven't seen? What do you mean? To make something have the same hash in two different places? You just set um, committer date and author date and use the same message and use the same uh, committer. And then it'll be the same commit. Because that's all that goes into actually making a git object is just timestamp message and blobs. The tree. And the tree is deterministic. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. Do you imagine if the tree wasn't deterministic and you got a different commit if it's just like, oh yeah, I decided to reorder your files for you. Haha, -ha, new commit. Nothing would work. It wouldn't work. It is kind of dependent on trees being deterministic. But you would expect the index to be deterministic. What's going on? We'll find it out. We'll get to an answer or a good answer. And then I'll learn something. So I'm trying to write a git flow wrapper on top of git, so I went and learned some plumbing commands and write how git works internally. Yeah. I know, unfortunately, too much about it because treatment deals with lots of git internals. I actually made a video about it pretty recently. Um, I call it KV store. I say database. I forget. That one. Out of your thousands of commits, do you have any sentimental ones you remember the hash of? Um, I remember a few hash prefixes. Like, I've definitely, definitely gotten seven sixes, which seems sus. Well, I died today. Git commit hash of seven, seven sixes. Your most salient commit hashes. Oh my god. <laughs> Yep. Yep. You know what I keep thinking about about Twitter and shit is um I feel bad for Elmo the Muppet. Because people are just shitting on Elmo on Twitter. <laughs> but it's their code word so that actual Elmo doesn't read their well, other other Elmo, non non Muppet Elmo, doesn't read their tweets. Although, but I bet he searches for Elmo all day too. Cause he's insane like that.
He loves reading about himself? Yeah, 100%. That's like, he'll reply to like two follow or like 10 follower accounts occasionally. Those are just wild. What we got from Dean House? Why are the Twin Cities? It's 20 degrees warmer in Anchorage, Alaska than in Minneapolis. Oh, God. Doesn't surprise, but also that's pretty nuts. Is the color scheme you're using something I can export to another IDE? Yeah, it's just using a VS Code theme. A little secret. Once you've installed Babby, it lives. It lives in, in Babby Resources default theme. Although I might change that at some point. Probably don't depend on that. What theme is this, please? <laughs> My god, the bot is amazing. I did not expect that. Good body, AI, yeah. Uh, it's kind of, kind of correct. Also a little wild. Oh, very dusty. Gross. My cleaner hasn't done this room in a few weeks. <clears throat> if else. Shh, don't give away the secret, Victor. I mean, it's slightly smarter than if else. It's, it's, if regex else. <laughs> the best AI. Ooh, this is a, a thick, 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 thick. I don't think there's an else. Yeah, the else is just do nothing. And actually, it's really just like loop and regex match. Mass Borb, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you're doing well. All right. So, they don't respect this environment very well. Got it. Let's see what pre commit needs from that repo. It's only for Go. Mm. Fuck. Yeah, so it does need a clonable. That sucks. Which statements in Java at least work like a hash map? Uh, do they? Depends on the language. Didn't realize Twitch had people writing code. Yeah, it's kind of great. I've been doing it for four-ish years. I mean, right now I'm not writing code. Right now I'm eating a shake and grumbling about Git. But, um, they don't only because switches allow rollover or like fall through. They definitely don't in Python. Match case does not work <laughs> in constant time, it is not different than an if chain. Other than having specialized bytecode to implement it, but. Otherwise, not different than an F chain. Is that vanilla or mango? It's peanut butter. Peanut butter. Is match widely used? I'll never use it.
and it's only 310 plus, so. Peanut butter is my favorite flavor. Nanch kind of sucks, so it's mainly getting pushed by those annoying people on Twitter. I've blocked almost all of them. I don't see any of these, like, cringe Python recommendation thread shit anymore. I must have blocked, like, a hundred different people. I'm ask a quick question about IT careers. Sure. Although, um, if you talk to anyone, at least in the U.S., that works as a software engineer, IT is a completely different space. And... Um, They'll refer to it as software engineering rather than information technology. IT usually refers to like computer admin stuff. Like fixing Betsy's printer and not, you know, writing software dev stuff. The thread of, do you know these 10 cool Python features? Here's a 20 reply thread. Yeah, I fucking hate those. And most of them are just wrong. Is a dictionary the best way to implement switch case in Python? If you want to. I mean, there is match. I just don't use it. Misty's not hello, hello, how you doing? Good to see you again, welcome back. I'm just eating a shake right now and grumbling about Git. Um. Uh, bu -bu 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 Let's read the Git source code. What could go wrong? <laughs> oh, it's only 3,000 lines to implement GC. Indulging myself in some X509 verification Python. That sounds like hell. Have you considered using a library that does it for you? Can't get rid of those tweets. As always, write better code. And the first thing is data class with one hash <laughs> Yeah. I just block them. I just blocked them. I have so many people blocked. It's great. From Bash script, you can't source your Bash So You could. You don't really do anything, though. Everyone says to get started in IT to start a help desk. Uh, I don't think that's true. Uh, interesting that you mentioned that because I might have been going down the wrong path all along. So I guess my goal is to start. My goal is not to start a help desk type jobs. I want to get into software developing. What would be the equivalent of a help desk? Um, well, if you're still in school, you can get internships. Um, if you want to learn, I would recommend some amount of self teaching, but also coding boot camps are pretty good. Um, but my general recommendation is build projects, build build cool shit. That way you can talk about stuff and learn things at the same time. Ah, uh, you have a cryptography start snippet. Nice, nice. Like 10k USD coding boot camps. They're kind of worth it if you're going to actually do it. It's way cheaper than, you know, 100K to go to college. If you can find a good one, that's totally worth it. Bootcamp and internship? Yeah, some of those, some of those are scams though. Like the ones that take revenue share after you graduate from the coding bootcamps, those are all 100% scams. Okay. <clears throat> I really don't think I'm going to find this.
A 32-bit C time. That might be the problem. <clears throat> Use a 4K monitor with 400% zoom. Uh, this is roughly what my setup looks like. I'm not at, this is my old apartment though. It's a little bit different now. Um, and I'm talking about it here. Are your thoughts on blockchain? Do they have a future? Absolutely not. They don't have a future, present, or past besides scamming people. Uh... Wait, this is different. Do they let men into software engineering? <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course. I looked up SWE. What? <laughs> oh, it gave you Society of Women that shared <laughs> No, SWE is just software engineer. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> and that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, the industry is unfortunately mostly men. Um... <clears throat> so this is the file that's different. Is it glibcy or glibcy? What? Spider Dude says, I have to go get ready to destroy my keyboard. What? <laughs> have fun. Thank you for stopping by, Spider Dude. Okay, I have I have an idea that it's using the C times of the files on disk. So I'm gonna A time, C time, M time those to the right thing. Roll B8, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I didn't do the tomato tomato thing. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Chad has been super random today. Chad has been all over the place today. Chad has been mildly unhinged today. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess it's Thursday. It's a different weird day. <clears throat> Moss Barb says, gonna watch more. Have a good rest of your day. Well, thank you for stopping by. Have a good one. My face has been all over the place today. It's true. Imran, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So I am going to it's like OS dot U time. Oh no, I have to get a beer now because I misclicked. Shit. Oh, Plus seven even, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, I will be right back. Actually, I'm gonna finish my shake first because shake plus beer is not a good, good combo. So hold me to it, but I need to finish my shake first. Um. <clears throat>
If n is specified, it must be a two tuple of a time m time. <clears throat> if times is none, it must be a two tuple of the form a time m time. Oh, NS is for nanoseconds. Where each member is an interfloat expressing seconds. Okay, so we're gonna do, oh, I think it's a shake and doesn't spill. Post a U time, uh, should just say dest equals this. <clears throat> Why beer? What happened? I opened up a W three schools equivalent shitty website. And my promise to Chad is if I open up, so if if someone tricks me or I am tricked, um, then I will go get a beer. <laughs> High quality code documentation website? Yeah. All right, let's try this. So it's like getting iced? Yeah, in a way. Wolfred, you're back. Hello. Damn, this fucking sucks. Please do. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. So it's probably some of this other shit. How do I make it not write all these other things? Uh, game is kind of trash. You don't like AI questions? No, I've just banned a few words that I'm tired of talking about. <clears throat> Thirteen three going to half time? No, it's not over. Ah. Uh... Maybe this person's blog. There's no way though, right? Hey, okay, blah, blah, blah. This is literally them shilling their book. Ugh, this is so annoying. I wish I knew it was different. I guess we could... I guess we could hex dump. <laughs> I 
What? Lots of things are different. Even the first line of the file is different. <laughs> so what is in this first chunk of bytes? Okay, dir c. We have those first four bytes. Yep. Dir c. And then a four byte version number. So version two. And then a 32 bit number of index entries. So there are 15 index entries. We have that in both of them. Okay. Index entries are sorted in ascending order on the name field. <coughs> Interpreted as a string of unsigned bytes, memcomp order. No localization, no special casing of directory separator. An index entry typically represents a file. It's just hatching eggs. Just hatching eggs. Um, what's the name of your keyboard? Keyboard, Pokemon. Okay. These entries have blah, blah, blah. 32 bit C times seconds. The last time a file's metadata changed. So, this is a 32-bit C time? So why is the C time different? And Like, why is there stat two data in here? <laughs> huh? Yeah, so I think it's those, um. Yeah, we can see the npm ignore here. And then a bunch of null bytes and then why are these different? Different about these two lines. Oh, it's the it's the C time again. So there's timestamps in here. Um, Linux, uh, Python, modify C time. All right, it's beer time chat. Uh, I will be right back. I'll see you in a sec.
Hello, I'm back. Uh, today we are drinking Not of Your Business Peanut Butter Stout by Armory Brewing. Unfortunately, it's the last one I had. I figured since I had a peanut butter shake, I should have a peanut butter stout. Why is everyone doing bang Pokemon over and over? I don't, I don't know. What if I guess? And of course, now that I've said that, surely someone else will do it too. Beer. Uh, cheers, chat. Martin says, I have a GitHub repo that contains my old code. I've deleted my local Git and added new features to my app. I'd like to get back my old code and add my new one to the same repo. Can I do this? Yes. Yes, you can. Um, you're going to have to be more, more specific, though. How to set a file C time with Python. It's probably like, you can't do this. <laughs> Obviously, that's not going to work. A time and M time. Huh, interesting. I know change time. Hmm. There's core dot trust C time. That's interesting. False. The C time difference between the index and the working tree are ignored. by default hmm. band dot h pound to find c time band <laughs> what is this <laughs> having those functions that have been banned from our code base because they're too easy to misuse <laughs> Define band. Sorry, funk is a band function. Oh my god, this is a great. Um. Uh, bonk four one three. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. Actually, not that much that does C stuff or does C time stuff. Um, I think I left my fan on the other room. Whoops. Uh, I wish this didn't contain C times. Let's see. It determinist deterministic index C time reproducible. Hmm. 
This is pretty annoying that this is not. Like, how is no one else? <laughs> Why does no one else care about this? I wonder if I can. Like, C time shouldn't matter if the files don't exist, right? Right? Maybe? So I could probably... I could probably make the repo, clone it as a sparse checkout, then move that over top of Git? Because surely a sparse checkout won't have this C time garbage in it. Right, maybe. Let's try that. Uh, let's try that. Well, actually. Uh, let's just try it from here. Get clone Y. Go check out. I think I want. Is it not called Savars? What is it called? Uh. What is the fucking thing called? Bear. Bear repo. And if I get clone wat wat two slash y bear to wat two dot get. I am the brain that is sometimes big. Now the question is, can I do this? Do here. And then do this. <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm. Why does it think I don't have this checked out? Oh. And I bet reset has now written that index file. <laughs> uh Git prevent writing, writing index file. Oh, this might not be possible. Uh, 
traffic. Uh, we can't depend on this other thing. Uh, we can't depend on G. But Go is simple enough. Uh, to provision by downloading the appropriate rebuild bundle from the Go website. I like how the blue dot went away. Yeah, GitHub is really good about this. Um, yeah, I actually really like their tracking pixel. It's very convenient. I've <laughs> I've fought with ad blockers to turn it off. Is really annoying, but um, index pack build pack index for an existing packed archive. Uh, uh. Iron Sword, thank you for the or welcome to the stream. How you doing? Okay, so this didn't work. Um I wonder if this is enough. It's clonable. It has the right SHA. The commit objects are all in place. It's just the index that is wrong. I'm doing well. Wonder what Twitter's new thing does. They now appended the link when you click share. Oh, yeah, they always have their little like TT thing or whatever on the end. Someone explain what all the numbers mean. They are for tracking particular sources. Like I think 22 is a link share or something. I don't remember though. Okay, I think I can, I think maybe DDoS's idea works and that I can just delete the index file. Be nice if I could just generate an index file. I mean, I could probably, I could probably I could probably do this, but I think it's still gonna do. I think it's still going to put those C times in there. Yeah, we still have a C time in here. Weird that it didn't update this, though. Uh, Josh Ludeman, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, you had an idea of just deleting the index file, which I think actually it doesn't break the get repo. Somehow. Iron Sword X, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. It's gross, but I think it works. Uh, this file is not deterministic for some reason, but it seems not needed.
But you heard a replit. I have. In fact, uh, I have indirectly contributed code to that. Mvusk says, if you were banned from running Python and every time you wrote it, you got a searing migraine, what else would you program in? My friend is being difficult. <laughs> um, I don't know. It depends what you want to do. I wish I could write C-sharp all day, but I haven't written C-sharp in a long time. If I was being practical, uh, unfortunately, it would probably be JavaScript. If I was being impractical, it would probably be Roost. It is deterministic now. But stupid. Set data to disk. Uh, info excludes stat. What is that? Is it never assigned? Hmm. Right, untracked extension. I think that's not what we care about. I don't think we do that. <sighs> this is so annoying. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do here. Program can either change modification time of a given file or just print it. Does not change A time or C time. M time has changed. The tool that changes M time. But by changing M time, you have to change C time. Mark. Oh, well, I think this works. It's a little bit gross, but um, make sure that local .tgz is a git. Uh, contains a git repo. Shadford, hello, hello. It's been a while. Good to see you again. Hopefully you're doing well.
Uh, it's wild to me that no one else has seemed to solve this problem. Alisher Webb, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Mm. I think they have issues enabled here. Oh God, it's Debian Salsa. You got Debian Linux? What do you got Debian Linux for? Iron Sword X? Oh man, we're actually creeping up on AOC time. Um, hmm. You don't know what? I'm confused. Um, so... I have two hours, yeah. I think I might take a break before AOC. That way I'm not streaming for 12 hours tonight. Um, what is AOC? Asks Methylin. Oh, that's a cool name. Uh, although you can't have a uh, triple bond with methyl. Um, AOC is admin of code. Uh, you can check out the link there. But I think, I think, um, I think I'm gonna take a break, play a little bit of Pokemon Unwind, and then we'll come back for admin of code in two hours. Uh, and we'll work on this tomorrow. Oh, I need to make a thumbnail. Oh, I need to upload a video. Uh, chat. Do you want to choose what our video is tomorrow? Cause uh, I haven't done it yet. We have, why are some things shell built-ins? We also have module level double under get adder. We have don't clone over HTTPS. Uh, we have what is UUOC? And we have pinning dependencies, apps versus libraries. I'm gonna veto this one just cause I wanna do it next week. A little bit of Pokemon is Pokemon playing in the background. Yeah, no, that's that's the computer playing Pokemon. Don't clone over HPS. Okay, you can do that one. Um, okay, should we just do it now? And then I'll thumbnail it right now, and we'll get content. That way, I don't forget to do it later. Yeah, sure, Anthony. Let's do that. Episode. 507, don't clone HTTPS. Uh, where did it go? Here we go. And we go to the YouTube studio. <laughs> Brent says I counter with only clone of HTTPS. I mean, you can say that. I'm gonna get a bunch of shitty comments that don't actually watch the video, which is gonna be great. Because this is actually a beginner level video. <laughs> it's really a clickbaity way to say, here's here's how to set up SH keys, please do it. Don't type your password into random things. Um, in today's video, I talk about Git cloning when you want to make make a contribution and present the benefits of using an SSH key. I also show how to set one up. Yeah, there we go. Say so neither use HSTS. I haven't used HPS since I first learned Get probably. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But I still see so many people try and clone over SSH. I need a guide like that for Windows? Oh. 
Is Windows? In theory, that will work. <laughs> In theory, the guide will still work on Windows. <laughs> I don't know. HTTPS strict transformation sign call? Yeah, I know what that is, but that doesn't help you with Git. HSTS is like the, the domain allow list. I recently moved to SH. I was enabled by the GitHub command line. Nice. Does it hammer? So SSH keygen? I don't think so. I think it's on. I think it was there because I've put the Git utilities on path. I'm not sure though. Um, okay. Thumbnail part of this. Other window go. I don't really want to record a new face, so we're going to try and use an existing face. Uh, also, I can't really record a face while I'm also streaming. So, maybe I could. <laughs> use this suit. I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think this is going to work for a video. I don't think that one makes sense here. No.png seems appropriate. Oh, yeah, true. It is don't clone over HPS. Where did that go? What is no.png? This one? Yeah, I like this face. It's a good face. Uh, this is another good face. Although it has the green, the green, uh, this one, this one's, this one's another good face. I think we're going to do this one. I agree. We'll use no.png. Use this. <laughs> this is the problem with me doing this all on stream. Usually when I do it off screen, I rearrange my windows all over the place. Uh two Anthony's. Hmm. So they think O oh, clone. <laughs> so you're saying that I I do I do this, except uh, on another layer. <laughs> like that? <laughs> uh... <laughs> it's such a dumb idea that, well, that didn't work. <laughs> Qualsy has received a sub from Methlin. Thank you for the gift, said Methlin. Appreciate it. Uh, double negation? What? Except for the genius idea. Uh, don't, don't clone? What do you mean? Did I typo it? No, that's right. You tripping? I missed the green padlock for HPS, yeah. Oh, I already have a layer. <gasps> um, what video number is this? 507. So this part's easy, but we also need to figure out a way to, uh, to, uh, this thumbnail is not good on its own. 507. Uh, don't clone, use the GitHub UI editor. Just upload a zip. Yeah. The thumbnail is suggesting it? No, the thumbnail is me being cloned. <laughs> uh. How did you make the overlays? Uh, what do you mean? Like my chat overlays? 
uh, with, us, with some CSS. Time to automate this. That's what it used to be. The old ones is automated for the videos. The thumbnails? And we're watching the process right now. How can we see if you're cloned via HTTPS or SSH? The old thumbnails are automated, and as soon as I stopped automating the thumbnails, all of my views doubled, and my revenue, and my subscriptions. So I'm going to continue to make shitty thumbnails by hand, as much as I don't want to do it, because it's, it's not necessarily the most fun. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to Google HTTPS. This is the other part about this that I can't really do on stream, is Google image search, because I'm just going to end up with tits. Um... I'm gonna steal this image from Wikipedia. And then, yeah, the set theme and the keyboard switch and the Vim bits are currently off because I do advent of code. They'll be back on in January. Do you have a .git on the end or not? I talk about that in this video, actually, the end of the server. I actually do talk about that in this video. If you put a bold, bright outline around your body, you'll double it again. Uh, what is Vim bits? Uh, normally, if you donate the number of bits that ends in 51, it forces me to use Vim for that number of minutes mod, or subtract by 51, divide by 100, plus 1. Um, I don't know. Does this seem fine? Then I'll just put a little red X through it and put the Git logo here. I think that's what we'll do. Uh, logos, git. What the fuck? What is this? Did I happen to, I happen to click on the center. <laughs> it's funny. It's kind of messy. Red, darker red. Uh, actually, hmm. First stream after AOC gonna be all Vim, basically. Are there Emacs bits? No. This is normal paint. No, this is this is paint on net. Um. Uh, Mark Charlo, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Uh, how was your stream today? I'm just making thumbnails for my YouTube video <laughs> real quickly. How was your stream? My name is Anthony. I usually work on open source Python. I maintain a few libraries that you might have heard of, such as PyTest, Flake 8, Precommit, Dead Snakes, Py Upgrade, and about 50 more. Uh, today I worked on Pregmit CI a little bit. Oh, why did it cut off the top? Oh, well, that's just an artistic thing. Um, Gus Round, Cabradera, welcome to the stream. And how was your stream? What were you working on? What were you doing? What were you up to? Um, I'm just grabbing a red X from Wikipedia, uh, to put on this thumbnail. Then we're going to call it good and stick it on um, one of the rotate. This X looks terrible. We're not using this X. <clears throat> Nutella sandwich. Oh my god, that's a good name. Thank you for the follow. And Cabradera, Vinicius, and Leon. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. 
Uh, today was a you must learn to get for every type of professional in IT. Oh, do you do like educational courses and stuff? That's cool. That's cool. Edel Sonchado, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Do my own Red X? I don't want to reuse an existing one. I don't think I'm going to make a good one. Do this one. Uh, but how do I get it? Uncommercial use. Yeah, I mean, sort of. I am human. Oh my fucking god, what the hell? Look at this CAPTCHA chat. Have you ever seen a CAPTCHA like this? Click and order O S F2. God damn. Oh, that looks like shit. Well, we're definitely not using that one then. Uh, but now it's on my desktop, so now I gotta kill it. Maybe it looks less shit when I paste it over. Let's try it. Nope, looks like garbage. Kinda looks like garbage. Also, it's really hard to tell that it's HPS. Uh, nice to see the way you pronounce all the Brazilian names, says Bruno. Am I right? Is it is it Marcello? Uh, what type of project open source are you contributing to now? Uh, <laughs> I'm making thumbnails for my YouTube. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> at the moment. Uh, but usually I work on developer productivity tools. Uh, that's kind of my my bread and butter. Okay, but if I'm going to make my own axe, it's just going to look like this. <laughs> but maybe a little thicker. Um, maybe I can do this so it looks a little bit more organic. Make some of the lines a little thicker. Like so. I think it would look worse or better. I don't know. Honestly, this is fine. Can I show you my X? I thought, I thought you're going to link like a... Here's my ex-girlfriend. Oh, yeah, this one's pretty good. Yeah, fuck it. That looks good. Send it. Thank you, Qualzy. Uh, this will be good enough. Unless there's anything else you would recommend on this thumbnail. Uh, otherwise, this is what we're going to go with. This has been another episode of Anthony Wake's Stupid Thumbnails. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And I don't save the originals so that it's even more work if I have to edit them. <laughs> Upland thumbnail. Uh, splains. Oh, actually, I'm gonna save your X so that I, you're, you're gonna get used. I save image as uh, recordings, misc assets. Yeah, you're gonna get saved next to my clickbait thumbnail arrow. Thank you. <laughs> Yoink. Uh, Pavan can receive pieces. I don't like this thumbnail advertisement to entice users. I mean. Reusing X is wow, desperate times. Yeah, I'm just booty calling that PNG at 
Who in the morning? You know me. Explains done on done next. None spit next. Can you tell I've done this a bunch of times? Save next next schedule on the twenty third at eleven AM schedule. Yay. Oh you mean the idea? Listen. <laughs> Before thumbnails, this number was, yeah, here, look. Your typical range, this is even elevated. Before thumbnails, this was 50K. Before thumbnails, this was 3.9K. Before thumbnails, this was like 106. So, um, yeah, numbers don't lie. So, uh, yeah. My video is about Git. Yeah, that one, that next one is about Git. Now put a girl photo on, you'll get millions of views. Mm, that would just be disingenuous. Unless. Mm, how could I find girl for them? <laughs> that's terrible. Okay, anyway, that's going to wrap us up for today. Uh, I will be back in an hour and a half. Uh, really, even the raw video file, that doesn't happen anymore. That doesn't matter anymore. Uh, they got rid of that. It used to matter, though. Uh, but it, it doesn't anymore. Uh, but anyway, my name is Anthony. I upload educational content to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Anthony Reds Code, uh, where I upload educational videos three days a week. You can check those out there. Uh, if you missed any part of the stream, you can catch up on VODs at youtube.com slash Anthony Reds Code at Anthony Reds Code dash VODs. Uh, and next week, I know it was supposed to do you today, but uh, Juice is still feeling sick. Next week, we are going to be continuing our Anthony teaches Juicebox Hero Code series on Tuesday. Don't know what time, but Juice will figure out what time. So stop by for that. That should be fun. And um, yeah, I'll see you in an hour and a half. But thank you all for stopping by. Let's go find someone to raid.